<laughs> That's as good a test as any. Alrighty. Woo! I believe we are live. Hello, everyone. A backlog stream starting on time. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's one hell of a start to the new year, huh? <laughs> no. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the last bit of content for 2022. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, boy. I am exhausted. I don't know about you guys, but it has been a wild holiday season. I tell ya. Um, okay, so. Let's talk about this real quick so everyone knows exactly what we're doing. Start time was 50 seconds ago. We're fine. Close enough. Way better than usual. Um, so first off, I apologize. Normally we do these on Saturdays. Um, my <laughs> holiday season is still not done. We have another party and people to see this upcoming weekend. So I could not <laughs> make time. So uh, this is the closest I could do. Chewy Games, Charcoal. Charcoal? I don't want coal for Christmas. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy the wallpapers. All that jazz. Oh, boy. So, yeah. So, I apologize again that this is uh, Friday instead of Saturday, but uh, that, that is what it is. Um, so, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what we're doing as far as the video is concerned today. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what's going on with uh, the last video that was supposed to happen this year. Uh, you finally playing that Killer Christian EDM playlist for the stream since it's Sacred Fire? <laughs> Oh, go back to the dungeon. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about a few things, a few things. So, all right. Anywho, 2 a.m. caught a live stream. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Good Lord. All righty. So, first things first. Let's talk about this run. So, the run is Sacred Flame only. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, obviously, I had to give myself Sacred Flame ahead of time. And I did, with a little testing, realize that I had to adjust uh, my Estus Flasks a little bit in the beginning as well. I had to allot them more towards the Ashen side than the regular side. So, um, considering that this first area is basically the tutorial anyway, this is going to be basically just an example of how this thing works. So... Uh, yeah, just, sorry, that's just the way it's gotta be. But after that, the run begins in earnest. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Should be a good time. We will see what happens. Uh, as far as everything else is concerned, I apologize that we weren't able to get the immolation-only run done before the end of 2022. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Holiday Nonsense got really bu Oops, that is the wrong attack. Just go ahead and kill me. Um... How did I, I'll just, you know what, I'll save you the effort. I'm just going to throw myself off this cliff. Uh, How did Nonsense got way out of hand really quick, really fast. So I really didn't have any time to actually write a script, edit the video, create the audio, all that nonsense. Um, so rather than utterly murder myself trying to get it in in between all of my holiday shenanigans i decided to just we're just gonna do this live stream instead um it will come out in early january hopefully sooner rather than later there we go let's that's what it's supposed to look like bada boom all right that's better much better let's go um mr gibbs it's been too long since you've been able to tune into a stream. Work life kept me off schedule. Coffee incoming. <laughs> Thank you for being a, a member for 10 months. Good lord. And to be fair, uh, I don't think you were missing very many streams. I have been very busy for the last two months. I don't think I've streamed in the last two months, if memory serves. I don't know. Um, in any case. Uh, and Kira. Damn it, Lemon. Just as you're about to sleep and now you can't. Time to settle in and enjoy the fiery fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. My goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so the immolation run is coming. Spoiler alert, I was able to do it. 
but holy, holy hell, did it take some effort. And you guys get to see that. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, when I watched Yamfa's video, it was great to see how he got it. Master Gibbs, thank you for the coffee. And Gray Fox, Professor Lemon question, have you become one with the firebomb? Uh, I have. Yes, I absolutely have. You'll see that next year. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I... It was cool to see how he got it. The glitch is very neat. Um, unfortunately, though, he skipped about 95% of the game. And I was like, well, that's kind of cheating now, isn't it? I mean, like, <laughs> that's kind of a cop-out. And so I s decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to beat every single boss with immolation. It it cost me my soul. And uh, <laughs> you'll all see. Um, I now understand why he did it. So uh, Yamfa is a s smarter man than me. And uh, now we can prove it with video format. So anyway, but that will be coming out um, early January. Sacred Flame is this thing that I have in my hand. You'll see in a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of examples over here. Ow. Uh, but that will be coming out early January. And then other things. Elden Ring Firebomb only is about to begin. Um, I have finally ac acquired all of the research that I needed. Okay, you're just going to follow me? That's cool. They're team killing with this, maybe, maybe. Eh. I guess we'll never know. Um, ow. Um. Nope, guess not. Uh, but yeah, so firebomb only run is in progress. Please don't hit me. I keep trying to press R two, and I don't know why. Uh, so expect that to come out probably. Because really what we're going to do is, for January, I'm... Ow. Oh, good, there is. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, for January, we're going to kind of take it a little easy. You know what? I, let, me, let, me, let me get out of combat. I can't talk and think at the same time. My brain isn't awake enough yet for this. Benjamin? Good lord. First and admittedly potentially only donation, but you're awesome and have earned it. Saved me a lot of sleepless nights. Pretend this is the belated Christmas gift. Looking forward to the stream. Thank you so much. Wow. Insane. Thank you very much for that generous donation. Good lord. Good lord. Well, I'm glad somebody was able to sleep. I haven't slept in like a week. Feels like. I haven't slept in like a week. Okay. Uh, right, 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 right. Sitting down. Sitting down. Let's go. Okay, so, yes, Firebomb only run for Elden Ring. It is in progress. I have all the research put together. God bless my community. They threw together maps. They threw together quest lines to make sure I didn't skip any bosses. They did a lot of heavy lifting. Awesome. It was. It, they are amazing. And so we will begin that run in earnest this month because this month I'm going to try and kind of pull it back just a little bit for two reasons. One, I need a break. <laughs> Because, like I said, the immolation run uh, kind of took a little bit, uh, took a little bit out of me, um, and I kind of want to, you know, not die. And then, um, as far as uh, everything else goes, uh, as some of you might know, YouTube January is a really bad time. January is a really bad month for YouTubers, um, as far as like ad revenue and stuff goes. Like you can work really hard and get paid half as much because all the advertisers before all these lovely videos of ours um kind of blow all their spending cash in december for christmas and then have nothing to give in january um so that's a thing benjamin another one uh oh hey capitalism <laughs> yay capitalism we can win now and marshmallow lamau nerd <laughs> thank you so much guys i really appreciate it Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are we all nerds? Nerds is a good thing. What you don't want to be is a nerd. If you're a nerd, then we've got a problem. But nerds, nerds are cool now. Critical Role proved one thing, and it's that nerds are cool. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, so we are going to kind of tone it back. I think what I'm going to end up doing, or try to do anyway, is uh, probably about one video. 
how, how is it going to be? A video one week, maybe a stream the next week, then a video the next week. Basically give myself a little extra time to work on videos. And also to give myself some free time. Uh, that way I can actually work on the Firebomb run. So, you saying Immolation Run burns you out? <laughs> it tried. It tried. Yeah. Kira, also joining us. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Oh, boy. But yeah, that's that. What's a nerd? A nerd is that guy that smells like corn chips, uh, burps loudly in public, and has no remorse for any of the things that they're doing in, in, in all those capacities. That is a nerd. Do not be a nerd. It's also known as an asshole. <laughs> Don't be that guy. <laughs> it's okay to be smart. It's okay to be nerdy. Don't be a dick. So, um, anyway, but that's that. Uh, last thing, well, a couple last things, uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention, what was, oh, oh, right, 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 some people might have been asking about, um, the merchandise, we were, I had briefly mentioned merchandise, uh, hoping to get it out before Christmas, obviously that did not happen, um, basically what happened is the company that I'm going through had a very heavy holiday season and also, like most places in America, lost a lot of their employees. Um, just due to people realizing that there's other opportunities out there. And so, uh, yeah, so they were kind of slow to get me the samples that I needed. And then when I got them, one of them is really good. Like, I'm really happy with the hoodies. I am not happy with the t-shirts, and so I can't, in good faith, just pop those out there and be like, here you go. So I'm still kind of fine-tuning the merchandise. It'll pop up when it pops up. So uh, for anyone that was waiting for it or hoping to get it before Christmas or for the new brand new year, I apologize. Um, we'll get it when we get it. So anyway, anywho... I think that's about it as far as things go. So we can uh, just kind of focus and relax, enjoy ourselves, and just have a good time. So good luck with the fire demons. I have a plan. I don't know if we'll get that far today, but I have a plan. So uh, someone asked about if I would ever do a use what you see run. Uh, no, not really. I would do like a randomizer maybe. Um, but a straight up use what you see. Ah, dang it. A straight up use what you see run. I know the game too well. So I would probably, I, I would be able to kind of just, <laughs> you know, manipulate that run too easily. So I'm going to try not to do that. Does Sacred Flame grab bosses? It grabs some of them, but the other ones it kind of just like tickles. And that is going to be our, uh, <laughs> that is going to be our challenge. Ow. There we go. All right. Can you beat life with potatoes only? I wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, somebody asked me if I was going to be doing more XCOM videos. Uh, the only other XCOM video I'm actually interested in would be Psionics only. Somebody told me how to possibly get it running, so we'll think about it. Um, outside of that, though, I would really like to actually play XCOM 2 at some point. So, uh, God, I always I keep pressing R2. Just hit, just hit me. I deserve it. Take my hit points. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Let's try that again, huh? Your videos have convinced you to get DS3 and you've been loving it so far? Oh, good. DS3 is a great introduction to the series, I would say, if you're brand new to it. Um, it's going to be very hard for you to go back to Dark Souls 1 and 2, but it's as good a game as any, so, you know, go for it. What are the Twin Princes resistances? I think they're mostly magic. I'm pretty sure they're pretty much magic. <laughs> what is a nerd? Head on back into the, the, the earlier parts of the stream if you need to know. <laughs> it's something you never want to be. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Second death already and neither of them are my, well, they're all my fault, but you know. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> so, as you can see, I can't grab Gundir, but I can tickle him. And that's really all I need to do. The tricky part is lining up the timing. 
That's going to be the hardest, um, the hardest part of these runs. And also the uh, heavy FP cost. Let's see what this guy's doing here. Let's see if I can get behind him. Hey, how's it going? You want to tickle? No? That's cool. Ow. Okay, and it still costs even if you miss. That's cool. That is not good. Ow, stop hitting me. There we go. And one more with feeling. There you go. How do you tell if that's enough Estus? I guess if it doesn't fade? Yeah, I guess if it doesn't fade. Okay, cool. One more ought to do it. And... Gucci Gucci Goo! Easy peasy. Alright. Moving right along. Woo! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A <laughs> slap in the ass, that's right. Give me the old... Give me the old grabaroo. All consensual, of course. Okay. That casting speed, I know. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. Is this glove unupgraded? It is. It is a plus zero. So there's that. It seems painfully slow. We'll see. We'll see. Am I a nerd? Oh, absolutely. I play video games. Like, more often than most. <laughs> I get paid to play video games. I'm definitely a nerd. Gorman, good luck with the kick-only run. Dark Souls 1 awaits you. <laughs> Oh, please no. And Evelyn, any possibility of Code Vein challenges sometime? Um, possibly. I was gifted Code Vein by a very generous user, so... Or, uh, user. By a very generous audience member. So, yeah. It's a highly a possibility. Bob! How's life been treating me? Oh, it's been treating me pretty well. I haven't slept in, like, the last week. At least not very well, anyway, but, uh... Outside of that, we're doing fine. All right. Let's see. So, I can't upgrade this. Also, thank you so much, everybody, for all those donations. For rejoining for three months, Bob. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Press continues here as well. Press continue. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go to sleep. <laughs> I think it's... I don't know what time it is over there. Oh, gosh. But thank you so much for joining. Much appreciated. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Will you invest in faith for some healing miracles? Um, we do need to invest in faith. I don't think we'll be getting very many healing miracles, though. Not sure. Not sure. What about Darkest Dungeon Runs? The problem with Darkest Dungeon Runs is that they're kind of boring. Uh, not for me, but for the audience. Um, I tried doing one that was like a all... Plague Doctor? Is that the one that all throws bombs? Uh, I tried to do an all Plague Doctor run, and it was going fine, but as I played back through the footage, I was just so bored. It was like, wh what do I say? <laughs> you know? So that might be a Ye of Little Faith. That might turn into a Ye of Little Faith video. So. Sounds like a nice place to hang out. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad. <laughs> Didn't know the spell did damage to non-human enemies? Oh, yeah. No, neither did I, until I tested it yesterday. <laughs> So, but when I saw the damage, I was like, oh, well, we could probably make this work. We can probably make this work. All right, what are we doing here? I don't even... Um, I have a lot of souls. We should probably use those before I die. Okay. Let me think here. So, as far as things go, we're not changing any weapons. I don't really plan on doing any big things with shields. Blah, 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 blah. Figure is fine, I guess. Attunement does not give you more casts anymore. F oh wait, does this increase my FP? It does, so it does increase my casts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, forgot about that. Alright, um, that might be the way to go for starters. Because I don't think any of this is going to really help out with the spell buff for now. Alright, so let's do that. Let's just push FP for the time being. I started with the Nameless Soldier Soul. Let's pop that as well. Blah, blah, blah. A little bit more FP, please. Thank you. 
Okay, let's get a few other things while we are here, huh? Have you ever played Remnant from the Ashes? I played it once. Um, just to see what the hubbub was about, but that was years ago. Or at least a year ago, if not more. That was back when I was still on Twitch. Pretty sure. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Ah! <laughs> um, seemed like fun. Not sure if I would play it again outside of um, doing a challenge run for it, but I'm not quite sure what the challenge run will be. Uh, probably something involving just melee, or if there's grenades, I'd like to do that, but we'll see. Kurosaki, back for 10 months. Still stuck on the Demon Prince in your Dark Souls 3, but best of luck to you, and thanks for the enjoyable year. Well, thank you so much for being here for so long. Good lord. You're almost done with your first year at the Academy, my man. I hope you're enjoying your degree. But yeah, thank you so much. Alright, let's see here. Quiet bird. My last is flask. There we go. The fuzzy one. I think I recognize that name as well. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Academy. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, anyone who is either recently joining the Academy or has, is just an old hand at the Academy, um, I will be putting up a lot of new wallpapers. Uh, probably soonish, uh, like in the next week or so. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you are a member on YouTube or a Patreon supporter or any of that, um, I do include a lot of wallpapers, either like for phones or for computers, that kind of thing. Um, basically, my thumbnail artist has been going off the hook with a lot of... Do people say that? They probably don't say that anymore. Um, she's been doing a fantastic job. And in order to kind of really hammer that home, I wanted to share uh, a lot of those thumbnails as wallpapers. So if you are a member, uh, go ahead and keep an eye on that. I'll make a post about it so you don't have to keep, you know, refreshing a page or anything. But uh, yeah, so consider that my little gift to you for being so kind and for supporting the channel. Opticals here. What's up, guy? Yeah, it's not too late over there. I was thinking about it. You're doing Broken Straight Sword Run in Dark Souls 3? Good luck! Remember that weapon buffs are a thing. Okay, let's see here. So there's some Titanite we're gonna want. Can you grab a dog? I don't think you can grab a dog. Find out in a minute. Ow! Good puppy! Oh god, okay. This is, uh... <laughs> this is not going well. Do not get iframes, apparently. Alright, well, I scratch his ear, apparently like that. That counts. We're gonna, we're gonna skip this one, though. Whew. People don't say off the hook? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the last guy you want to ask for anything about anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. Really? You didn't kill the crossbow? You didn't kill like, anybody. What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to uh, plan that a little better. <sighs> but we do need Titanite because Titanite is how we upgrade the glove and upgrading the glove is how we increase the damage. Going to have to try that again. Hooray. Do I like the Xbox or PS controller layout better? Uh, I think I like Xbox more. PS controllers feel a little small in my hands. So, you know. And as someone who uh, grew up with the chunky original Xbox controller, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm used to. So anything smaller than that feels like I'm, uh, I don't know, just feels wrong. All right, wake up the demon. Ow. Did you get the dog? You got the dog. Oh, you didn't get that guy, though. But he has had enough, apparently. So that's good. Okay, good. Alright. Let's see how this is gonna work. Oh, don't you dare. Touch! Uh, touch! Okay. 
fine start. Oh, wait, okay. And one more. There we go. There we go. Easy. Moving on. <laughs> did I forget to use the shard? Sure did. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, we're going to want to do that for sure. This uh, one Estus thing is not really going to work for us. All right, this dog is going to take my souls. I can tell already. Wait, wait. Just let me get a little closer to the fire. Please. Okay. <laughs> PlayStation triggers especially. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I'm working with a, what is this thing? A Logitech gamepad, which is basically an unholy combination of the two. Um, it has the shape of a PlayStation controller, but the heaviness and, like, durability of an Xbox controller. I don't know. It's... Don't, don't, don't ask me what I'm doing over here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's see here. Uses way less power rate than you expected. Well, to be fair, I did just up my power rate intake quite a bit, but yeah, yeah, you'd think it'd be more. What's my favorite snack food? Oh god. Um, what's that called? Naan and hummus. Naan and hummus. All right, let's see. Let's do this still. Yes, that's fine. But get a little bit going there, and there we go. That looks Georgie, much better. Be now I can make two mistakes. PS5 controller is a thing of beauty, though. Wouldn't know. Have yet to actually see a PS. No, that's not true. I have seen a PS5 in the in the wild, but uh, did not want to pay for it. <laughs> How's the emulation run going? Uh, we are about halfway done with editing. No, I'm halfway done with writing the script. Um, it's gonna take a bit, but the run is done. The run itself is complete, it's just the editing that is uh, currently on standstill. Will this be a video? Maybe. I am recording it just in case, but uh, time will tell. I don't actually know how far this will go. I have a lot of research, well not a lot of research, but I did do some research to like make sure that this could get decently far. And I think I have workarounds for all the fire resistant bosses, but I'm not entirely sure. Time will tell. Pickle! Ow. A pickle has joined the rank of the academy. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes and wallpaper. Just gonna just go over here for a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. Okay. Okay. Well, that seems a little unfair. Okay, well now you don't even need to use the stairs. Now we're just... Now we're just cheating over here. <laughs> Am I playing with that monstrosity? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They're cheap, okay? <laughs> They're only $20. You <laughs> can buy three for the price of one. Which is good, because then that way when like my family members come over or... Whenever my wife and I want to play games together, I have multiple controllers. Why? Who is hiding on the stairs and not letting me light this? Come on now. Who's doing it? There you are. You get the treatment. Come here. There you go. That's enough of that. All right. Do I like Guns and Roses? No, not really. I was raised on the other side of the 70s and 80s, um, such as, like, cars, ELO, uh, the police, that kind of stuff. I was not raised on the, uh, the more uh, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, uh, Led Zeppelin. Didn't really get any of that when I was growing up, so. So, unfortunately, now I listen to it and I'm like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> you know. Great stuff. Glad it's a classic. Not for me. Zero with a silent T. Welcome. 
Enjoy your emotes. Alright, we got another one of these guys. And clear the room for us. There you go. Let me give you a little something to think about. Hold on. Wait. Really? You're going to interrupt me? Alright. Can you... I didn't think you could. Right. You're just going to do that, huh? You're just going to be that guy? Alright, well, come here. Wow, there is zero iframes for this thing. That is not good. It's not bode well. <laughs> Burn the non-believers! I'm trying. Alright, one, two, three... Okay, he's doing something else now. Another one. And another one. Oh, God. <laughs> one more. There we go. Okay. So it's going well. Keith, found the channel and been watched so much. You're killing it. Keep it up. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for the donation. Always makes me happy when people say they binge watch my stuff, because that means it's like, you know, <laughs> bingeable. No higher compliment. Right, let's see, there should be something. Well, not. I want this over here. We're good. I should not be making it this far. <laughs> Alright, what else can we get here? Uh, where's that shield? Is it over here? A better shield would be nice. Nope. Eh. There we go. How'd I spot on the item in the beginning? With talent. And definitely not illegal means. Definitely not. <laughs> I used an item swap. I used an item swapper. Alright, where... Where is that shield? I know there's a shield around here somewhere. Oh, hi, dog. <laughs> okay. Well, all right then. Mm mm mm. We saw one of those abominations. You thought this was Bloodborne for a second. Yeah, they're pretty similar. Pretty similar. That is that is my one. I don't know if I'd call it a complaint, but my one. Uh, it's kind of a complaint. The one thing I kind of disagree with with Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all that is that the fur and Elden Ring, the further and further the series went, the more it kind of kept borrowing from itself. And I don't know. I mean, it is a lot of it is in the same universe, so I guess I can't actually be. I'm not like actually upset about it, but I don't know. One of those things. Now, allegedly, ow! As soon as you stop hitting me, as soon as you stop hitting me. All right, well, I'm gonna die here next to the shield, man. Excuse me. Supposedly, this thing can actually break through shields, but I don't think we're gonna get through that guy's shield. So, oh god. So, rather than torture ourselves on that, let's just go somewhere else. Where? Where is this shield? I know it's like right here. How did I miss it? Oh, I know why, because I have to go... Oh, hello. <laughs> we gotta go this way and then around. That's what we gotta do. Alright, there we go. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> we got it! <laughs> oh, God. Alright, we got there. It can't parry? That's okay. We're not doing parries, I don't think. We're not looking at too many parries here. Oh! That's what the parry button does with this, huh? I forgot that the Pyromancy Flame actually has a, uh, a weapon art. Interesting. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Alright, alright. 
Tips for the Lord of Cinder? Hit him till he dies. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, take your time. Just take your time. Keep your distance. DJ, you've used Sacred Flame a lot, and sadly it can't go through shields. I don't know about that. Are we sure about that? I'm pretty sure the wiki says that it can, but the wiki says a lot of things. To be fair, the wiki says a lot of things. I really hope the wiki is right about a lot of stuff that I read, because otherwise this run is going to get real bad real fast. Alright, alright. Everyone just needs to relax. Calm down. There we go. One more thing in here. Thank you. Dog, nope. Good luck with the run. I'm looking forward to the immolation run. Have fun. Thanks, Bob. Once again, appreciate your donations, and thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good one. See you next year. Okay, please stop. Oh, teleporting dog. Okay. All right. <laughs> Everyone could just chill out. <laughs> ah. Tips for Firebomb only in Dark Souls Remastered? Ooh. Um... Well, you're not going to be able to do the DLC, so don't worry about that. Um, invest in fire bombs. Keep your distance. Learn enemy timings. I think that's about the best you can hope for. Got my soul. Get the heck out of here. All right. It will be a doozy. Good luck to you. Never trust the wikis. Ah, uh, you know, Wik Wiki Dot is actually pretty good when it comes to Dark Souls. They don't normally lead me wrong. Oh, someone's close, aren't they? Oh, dog! Go elsewhere. Thank you. Yeah, the Wiki Dot is usually pretty good. I would never, ever, ever trust Fexter Life because it is just a fucking trash fire. But uh, but Wiki Dot is usually pretty straightforward. Oh, PvP, yes, PvE, no. Oh, see, okay. That is important to note. Well, now we know. Now we know. Enemies with shields are going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to lose my mind on this. Well, you know, I'm not 100% committed to this run just yet, so... We're just uh, having a good time. We're just having a good time, see what's going to happen here. Trolls, you ever consider using uh, use what you see run? Uh, I believe I answered that earlier. Um, not really. Uh, I know the location of everything too well that I would be able to route out a path um, and make it pretty easy. So, unfortunately, it's not really of interest to me. But, you know. McDude, welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Enjoy your emotes. All right, let's go here. Alright, let's go here. Fex just burned you so many times. I know. I know. At this... Oh, I... I okay, thank god he moved. Press the wrong button. Uh, at this point, I usually just ask my community to test an, an idea for me. If I'm, like, even remotely unsure. Just easier to have people on the actual ground giving me numbers. Alright, 132. That's not bad. We can work with this. We can work with this. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fine. Halfway already. All right, which way is he going? And through. And through. And through. And... Give him a little bit of the booty. Just a little bit of the booty. Missed with that one. That's not good. And that one hurt. Okay. Good feelings gone. <laughs> good feelings gone. <laughs> Don't do that. Come on now. 
This could be a little trickier. Forgot how aggressive he gets. Ow! Okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> you lost your mind when you realized there weren't five rings on that list? Yeah. Yeah, there... Me and Fixture Life have beef. We, uh... Not, not a fan of them. Not a fan of the way they run their business. Not a fan. Mr. Pro, I see ya. You can stop spamming that now. Thank you. Alrighty. Moving right along. Moving right along. For its boss music. Yeah, unfortunately, because I'm actually recording this for potentially a video, um, I can't actually have music playing. Because otherwise, any music I put in the video would just kind of clash. Otherwise, we'd be listening to that music all day. Any plans on more Salt and Sacrifice, or was the Harvest one the last one? No, no, there's more plans. Um, we still have to do Fist only, and I would like to do a Magic only run, because I actually never really used the uh, Magic or Weapon Arts. Um, so that would be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool. Alright, you need to not do that. You need to stand still and just let me, let me poke you. Alright. You're pissing me off, Vort. There we go. Don't move. Just stay right here. Okay. Let's find some animations here, because this isn't working. First things first. Get this off my hotbar. Thank you. Alright. Second thing second. Downward slam is a good one. Cork that. Okay. All right. Obviously, the ice breath attack is a good one as well. All right, almost there. Time this last one real well, and we'll be okay. Give me something to work with, my boy. Give me something to work with. In fact, if you want to do that breath attack again, that'd be, uh... That'd be pretty good. Whenever you're free. Whenever you've got a moment. Advice for Pontiff, he's giving you a lot of trouble. Um, Pontiff is tricky. If you're good at parrying, that's a really good strategy. But if not, um, you're really going to want to just focus on the main one. Probably ignore the clone, would be my guess. Hey, all right. That wasn't bad at all. You'd love to see poison only Sultan Sacrifice? That would be cool. I could probably rush it to the Venomancer. I could probably make that work. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. The only problem is poison's really slow. I would love to do a, um, a status effect only. Salt and Sacrifice. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> How much for poison only SNS? Well, uh, you know, that is something I still don't really know what to do with. A lot of people <laughs> handed his ass to him. Very nice, Press. Very nice. <laughs> um, I have... People have asked me, like, hey, will you be doing, like, bounty boards? Like, basically, I throw up a couple of options where I'm, like, on the fence on whether or not I want to do a run. I'm like, eh, I could do it, but it might be kind of icky. Uh, it might be kind of rough. But I would also let people, like, throw money at it and be like, yeah, no, we'll give you... 500 bucks if you can do this and if you can do this and it's like oh, okay all right well uh, okay you know so i'm still not entirely sure how to go about doing that in a way that doesn't feel weird um but uh we'll get there all right so we haven't really needed 
a lot of ash and Estus just yet. So let's keep it balanced for now. But we'll see. <laughs> In this corner, some do. Oh, it's already over. Yeah, nah. It's already over. Okay, so Vort's done. Oh, I gotta go talk to Emma, right? For the firebomb only Elden Ring run, will you fight Millennia? I am going to fight all 255 plus bosses because I don't like Elden Ring, and out of pure spite, I'm going to beat that game with nothing but firebombs and never touch it again. <laughs> so, uh, so that is uh, that is the current plan. Um, do note that when I say firebombs, I mean all different variations, just like I did with like my Dark Souls 2 run um, and Dark Souls 3. If it's a throwable explosive, it counts. So there's that. So, uh, yes, I will hopefully figure out a way to beat Belenia. I have never seen her before. I have not, I have not watched anything <laughs> in regards to Elden Ring content. I have not spoiled myself somehow after still a year. I have still not watched anything about Elden Ring. Not really, anyway. And, uh, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. Should be fun. Should be fun. Why do I, what do I, <laughs> what, why? Why do you dislike Elden Ring? I don't like it. I just don't like it. It's, uh, it is too big. Uh, it feels like they should have made the amount of space, a, like, maybe half as big maybe I mean I can't actually say I've only explored like the bottom third of the map before I just get tired and put it down but uh have I made it past Stormwheel Castle yet um the last achievement I did was I cleared the werewolf guy down in the far south past Florida all that jazz I cleared the, I cleared all of Florida I cleared all of the south it's like the southern hemisphere um and I was just uh, just so bored man so bored so, um, yeah, it's too big. There are far too many copy and pasted, uh, bosses. I really wish, like, they would have made enough bosses that there's, like, you know, the proper amount. Like, you don't need to fill the entire space with a boss every time. Like, it can be a dungeon without a boss. You know? Like, it, it, it like, I like, think, like, Skyrim. Skyrim had so many dungeons and things, but they didn't... Uh, put a boss at the bottom of each one. They just, you know, put a treasure chest and called it good. Like, that would have been fine. So, I don't know. I just, it's, it was too big. Uh oh. Good luck. I, uh, accept your service. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go, man. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, hold on a minute. Okay, that's fine. This is, this is fine. I deserve that. Uh, yeah, it's too big. It feels a little lackluster. It feels like they kind of just threw everything together and said, here you go. I, I'm i sure the lore is good if you understand it, but from where I stand, having cleared the bottom third of the map, I'm just confused. So that's not pulling me along like it normally would. You know, it's just... Eh. And I don't have time. That's, that's the biggest issue, really, is what it comes down to. It's like Everyone's like, oh, it's only like 80 hours for your first playthrough, and then like another... 200 if you what the hell uh and like another 200 if you want to like fully clear it and it's like i i am do you know who i am <laughs> i don't have that kind of time <laughs> so i'm a working adult you can't expect me to put that kind of i can't take on a third job <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah it's just not just not for me is really what it comes down to that's all all right all right accept a service did he leave? Please leave! Come on, man! Go somewhere else. Uh, he's not going to. Do I even need him? I guess he gives me free. He gives me some free levels. I want the free levels. Optical and DJ, thank you for joining both a year. Good lord, Optical and DJ for five months. Well done. Well done. Hope your studies are going well at the Firebomb Academy. You've been there long enough that you should be learning something by now. Gets more compelling later, but as sparse as any other FromSoft title, despite there being more stuff. Yeah, see, kind of figured. So, 
It is what it is, like I said. You never know. I might enjoy it later. Why? So why don't these dogs burn like the other one did? I find that a little strange. Um, yeah. There is there is a slim hope that I might enjoy Elden Ring by the time I'm done with the uh, firebomb run. There he goes, finally. Um, there's a slim chance that I might enjoy it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not holding out. So we'll see. We'll see. Favorite Dark Souls 3 boss? Uh, the Dancer. Very cool fight. Everyone just chill. Everyone just chill. Alright, there we go. Light my fire. Ixie, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome to rejoin. Not everyone has to enjoy every game. Exactly. That is a very... Okay, ow. That's a very adult behavior of you there, chat. Well done. That's what I like to hear from you guys. This is why I like you guys. You guys understand that. It's like, we don't have the gamer culture here. Hashtag gamer culture, where it's like, every game is the best game ever, and if you don't like it, you're not a gamer. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> like, no, dude, relax. It's okay. It's a game. We're allowed to have fun. If you don't enjoy it, there's like 7,000 other games to play. It's all good. Speaking of which, someone asked if I like Sekiro. No, not really. Did not really enjoy Sekiro. It is the, aside from Elden Ring, it is the only other FromSoft game I have not 100%ed. Um, simply because there was not enough build variety for my taste. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of uh, Katanas. So, you know. Makes, uh, makes it a little difficult for me to get into it. Makes it a little difficult to get into it. Alright, grab this. Okay, she tried to give me the book. Give him the book! How's my day? My day is going well. My day is going well. We're just moving along. Ow! Alright. So, let's see here. We need to get a little further in. Ah, woo! All right. Elden, Fe Elden Ring feels like a co-op game. Absolutely, completely agree with that statement. It is. I find myself getting very frustrated whenever I enter like a camp because I'm getting attacked from all sides, and the weapon choices that I have, at least in like the like early game, do not allow me to like actually take on enemies from all sides. Um. But, the few times I've actually gotten co-op to work, and played with a friend, um, it was a lot of fun. Because it felt balanced. It felt like, you know, like... <laughs> it felt like we weren't getting hit unfairly. It, was, it made sense. So... Ooh, hello. I would argue that Dark Souls in general just feels better with co-op. Like, it's... It's less obvious with the uh, Dark Souls games, but it is a lot more fun when you have a friend. And not just because of the uh, the typical, like, yeah, you're with a friend, of course it's going to be more fun factor, you know? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, like, just, I know some bosses kind of fall apart, but uh, a lot of the fights and stuff just feel good when you've got a team and you, like, organize, you know? Like, my f absolute favorite moment playing Dark Souls 1 was when it was myself, my wife, and my brother-in-law all playing together. Like, we, we played through the game three-player. It was the most fun I've ever had in Dark Souls because we literally would get up to, like, an encounter and be like, okay, uh, you know, brother-in-law, you go forward, you're the tank. Uh, wife, you throw the fire bombs from the back, and I will be casting heal from the side and also distracting the, the spellcaster. And, like, we did that. And it was it was so much fun knowing like that I had a team I could count on, and I could like run into a like full focus, kill the spellcaster, turn around, and they would have completed their tasks at the exact same time, and we would just look together and be like, "All right, cool." <laughs> you know, no, anyone need healing? No, awesome. Next next arena, let's go. You know, it was just it became a tactics game, and it was so much fun. 
Most fun I've ever had. <laughs> you take the 500 on the left, I'll take the 500 on the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dark Souls is designed like a D&D &D game. I would absolutely, if I ever have... <laughs> if myself and the other adults that I call friends ever have any lick of time, I would absolutely love to play through Dark Souls as a D&D &D party. Like, where each player can only level, like, one thing. So, like, one person has to level Faith, one person has to level um, Dexterity, one person does Strength, you know, that kind of thing. I think that would be really fun and make a really cool video. It'll never happen. <laughs> It'll never happen. Because, you know, my friends all have, like, kids or full-time jobs that are completely different than my hours. And it's, you know, all that adulting nonsense, but, you know, still... Dr. Strange Pants, have you ever played Souls like Mortal Shell? You strongly suspect that the weapons and abilities, also you can pet the cat. Whoa, you can pet a cat? I had no idea. Uh, I have never played it, though I did just get it for free on uh, the Epic Game Store. So, I do now own it. So, uh, it's on the list. I'll have to see what kind of, um, what kind of challenge runs you can do with it. I have to play it first to actually see what's going on. But, uh... Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> you think it's crazy I want to beat every Elden Ring boss? Like I said, I don't want to play it again. <laughs> Once is going to be enough. Oh, hello. So... If we're going to play it once, I'm going to just, just play it once. Get you out of the way, and that... is going to be very helpful. In the future. Also, we need to get up there. Memory serves. I need to go this way. Okay. What you doing? Sitting. That's cool. You can sit down again. Please, don't get up. Oh, cool. Free hat. All right. Sit down. There we go. Whew. Okay. That's alright. Not bad at all. How are we doing on the soul department? Not good. That's okay. Um, I do have some Estus stuff. That would be very helpful. Let's go do that. But before we do that, actually, let's go free our boy. That way I can use my souls to level up my pyromancy glove. It's all coming together. You guys just stay there, it'll be fine. If you just stay there, no one has to die. Oh. Now look what you've done. Now everyone has to die. Whoa! Whew, okay. What's my favorite sound in Dark Souls 3? I don't know. <laughs> that is a very specific question. I do not know. I have never thought about it. Would I ever try Dark Souls 3 Shield only? There, You know, there's a couple other runs that I really want to try before I get into a new series. Um, currently, I actually just completed the Dark Souls 1 Dagger only run, which uh, sounds super easy, but there were a couple of hard parts, and honestly... Um, if the number of people that watch the live stream is any example, I think people would actually really enjoy that one. So I would like to play through the series with just the daggers. There you go, get out of here. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with that. And I still need to complete the whip run. Um, I need to beat Dark Souls 2 and 3. Wow, okay. Cool. Uh, with, uh, with whips only as well. And the dragon head run is still going. We need to do that. So there's, there's quite a few other things I need to focus on <laughs> before we, before we start, uh, diving into the next content. Christopher, love your videos. These runs are always awesome. Have you ever thought of doing a run of Code Vein? I have. It's basically anime Dark Souls. Yeah, I need to play it, figure out how that game works before I can really figure it out. But yes, I have thought about it. Alright, let's see here. Dunno! Totally get, like, 
Uh, totally get not liking ER Sekiro, even from FromSoft. Those two are very niche. Took me forever to get into the Souls games, but now you love most of them. You know, same. Same. I can honestly say that the first time I picked up Dark Souls, I hated it and put it down for a year. So, uh, only goes to, you know, it goes to think that one, my god, one would ex imagine that it would be similar for other games. Oh boy. Though I have tried to pick up Sekiro again after putting that one down after beating it once. Um, did not click the second time either. So, not always true, but uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Dagger only Dark Souls 3 is fun. Trust me, you tried it. Yeah, I know. Dark Daggers are my favorite weapon type. I am um, a big fan of pairing the world. Uh, it's actually, like, the farthest I got in Elden Ring was because I was parrying all the bosses. Ah. So. Gracious. Totally get it. And I, I am excited to play through Dark Souls 2 and 3 with it. Um. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing here? What am I doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you, I have something for you. Take that. Okay. That's good. And then my boy Cornix, or whatever the hell his name is, should be somewhere around here. Where's my boy? There's my boy. Oh, I want as. <laughs> yeah, it is Cornix. All right, uh, he can reinforce our pyromancy flame. So the big thing we're worried about is the spell buff. That's what we want. So we need more of that. We need two more shards, which I can get at the bottom of the ravine. That's where we need to go. Okay, uh, anything else? I need to burn a thing. Let's see. There we go. And we're set. Anyway. Back to it. <coughs> Ooh, baby. Mm-mm-mm. What's my biggest problem with each Dark Souls game? Uh, well, they all have their own issues. Um, Dark Souls 1 is clunky. I don't like the fact that when you lock onto somebody, you can only dodge uh, four cardinal directions instead of eight. So probably that. Um, Dark Souls 2 feels a little floaty. I don't like that very much. And adaptability was a bad idea. I, I appreciate what they were trying, but... They should have left that one on the cutting room floor, I think. Um, Dark Souls 3 is too linear. Or... Actually, no. I don't mind the linearity. I do mind the fact that uh, it feels kind of like just like a nod to everything. Like, hey, do you remember this? Do you remember this? What's the story here? Ah, who cares? Do you remember it? So, I kind of... I don't like Dark Souls 3 for its story in it by any stretch of the imagination. Um... I like the gameplay though. Gameplay feels tight. But and then uh Bloodborne I don't Oh, Bloodborne I don't like the treasure system. I don't like the treasure system in Bloodborne. Um I feel like Yikes, that's not good. Um I feel like for Bloodborne like I would go around a corner, find the hidden treasure and it would just be more chalice dungeon materials and the chalice dungeon sucked. So, uh, that was extremely frustrating for that. Great gameplay, though. Ooh, that tea gets better when it gets colder. Nice. Mm. Um, Demon Souls... Uh, uh, Demon Souls, I didn't like the health system. Uh, felt like a punishment whenever you weren't human, and whenever you were human, the game punished you harder. So, <laughs> so that wasn't really good. And then, uh, I've already talked about Leather Ring. So, we don't need to rehash that. But, yeah, there you go. None of them are perfect. They all have flaws. And Sekiro, I didn't like the fact that there was such a limited build. Um, the fact that I have to have a... I have to have a katana. I have to counter everything. That's the only real... Real way to play... Successfully. Yeah, Not for me. Well, something. Thanks for saying so. I appreciate you. 
Okay, let's see. So, we need to pray that this works. Ah, okay, it does. Good. I don't think it's going to work well enough, but, uh... Time will tell. Can I hit these? I can! Oh, no! I have ruined you. I have you now. Alright. Never mind. We're going to be fine. He puts his hand down. Aha. Uh -huh. Like that. No! Doofus. Get out of here. Keep this hand here. There you go. That's a spirit. A little less this chuggy. A little bit of tickle tickle. Oh, missed it. No. 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 We're fine. Everything's fine. Whew. Chug. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> oh, Lord, he's coming. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Give me that. There we go. Easy. What's my favorite Dead Space? The first one. Um, I did really like the second one. I only ever played the third one once. I look forward to playing the remake. It looks real good. And, uh... The um, <laughs> I look forward to playing the flamethrower run of Dead Space Three, if only for the meme. Shinamako, which Dark Souls boss do you think is the stinkiest? Alternatively, which one smells the best? Oh, you mean like actually smells? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there are so many bosses that are like have clearly been just like molding in a dungeon for like eons. I'm afraid to answer that question. I'm afraid to answer that question. Alright, how are we going to do this? I need to get back in there. The hand moves a little too fast. That'll do, though. What? What do you mean, no? <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> What's right there? Oh, you... You pickle. Alright. Do I prefer Salt and Sanctuary or Salt and Sacrifice more than the other? I prefer the new one, Salt and Sacrifice. Um, simply because I have played Dark, uh, Salt 1 to, like, complete... I, I, I've, I've played it to completion. There's nothing else I can do. The most I will ever be able to do with Salt 1 at this point um, is make a video displaying all of the new updates that they just added. Um, I believe it might not be completely done just yet, but they have updated the combat, fixed all the glitches, and did a couple other things. Um, <laughs> they also did me a kindness and made a ring for me, uh, where it increases the damage of grenades and firebombs, which is really nice, and holy pots. Uh, and then they also... Fixed daggers, or, well, I say fixed, but they, um, they made it so that dagger crits do way more damage now, so that you actually feel like, you know, you're using a dagger for a reason. So, uh, but yeah, looking, looking forward to that, but outside of that, that's, uh, I can't really do much else with that game. I've pretty much played the rest of it. Pretty much played it to the end. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Let's see here. Let him do his thing with that. <laughs> Trees show no allegiance. Hold hands. Hold feet. Oh, you... Would you honestly... Come on. Whoever thought adding ads to a boss was a good idea? Fire that man. Have you ever checked out Hollow Knight? I have. I played quite a bit of it on the second channel. Good lord. Um, but, uh, kinda got bored, if I'm being completely honest. I did not enjoy... Here's the thing. A lot of people ask me to play a lot of Metroidvanias because they're like, Oh, you like Salt and Sacrifice or Salt and Sanctuary. You, you know, surely you'll enjoy those. I don't like Metroidvanias. 
I like Sultan Sacrifice and I like Sultan Sanctuary because they're like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls, respectively. Uh, Hollow Knight is not Dark Souls. Nor is it trying to be. Please let me do anything. Ah, oh, just take me. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to do this just because I can. Eh. Eh. Really? Come on, man. Just kill me. I'm trying. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally begging for death. Take, take me away. Thank you. Oh god. Good lord. Ah, <sighs> good lord. Oh, my chair's getting squeaky. Um, uh, I need a new chair, man. This chair starts to hurt my back after a few hours. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, no, so, like, with Hollow Knight, it's a fine game, I see why people like it, and it's not really for me. There's a lot of backtracking, I don't like the badge system very much, simply because you have to use the badges to mitigate problems that shouldn't really exist, like knockback. Um, god, I hate the knockback. Uh, and, like, things like the map and the compass, like, I... Let, just let me find a map and a compass and call it good. Don't make me take away pieces of my build just so I can remember where the hell I am, <laughs> you know? So, um, again, there's lots... That, that's just me. And like I said, I don't really... People think I do, but I don't really enjoy Metroidvanias all that much. Wow, okay, Jesus. So, I think it's just not for me is all. But... Still, one day. One day I'll finish it. One day I'll actually finish it to the end, but, uh, I got probably about halfway, and I was just kind of over it at that point. Chicken fingers are the superior chicken. By and far. If you, <laughs> if you think otherwise, you are younger than me. <laughs> Alright. What? Can you get rid of this guy over here for me? I would really appreciate it. Thanks, boss. Alright. Now I want to hold hands. You gonna let me hold hands? Give me your hand. Oh my god. Oh, it's because it's in the floor now. Now we're not holding hands anymore. Okay. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm losing it over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this is a bad boss for this the problem is it's doable Ugh. but dino but dino nuggies no man sorry dino nuggies do not have it they got nothing on actual chicken tenders or whatever you want to call them it's just the wrong texture Give me this foot, then. If we're not going to hold hands, give me your foot. Are you serious? <laughs> I can't see <laughs> what's happening. Oh, this boss is bad. Damn you gimmick bosses. Okay. And now I have no SS. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, just, just kill me. Thank you. Whew. All right. <laughs> Average nerd, go get some sleep. The the VOD will be there for you when you get back, I promise. It'll be there for you. Get sleep. Sleep is important. Wing bones are boneless? Uh, depends how I'm feeling. If I just want to scarf down a bunch of wings, boneless. Popcorn chicken? I haven't had that since I was in like sixth grade. I can't I can't talk about the quality of popcorn chicken anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. God damn. Why am I even killing him now? Because why not? I mean, why, why not? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Any plans for merch? The merch is currently in the testing phases. Um, 
some of it is good, some of it is not up to my standards just yet, and so until it is all up to my standards, I can't in good conscience launch it. So, uh, expect it hopefully in January, but uh, we're kind of at the mercy of the merchandise uh, creator. So, soon though. Get out him! All right. All right. Just let's just let's just do something here. Um, give me the foot. Why do you always move the foot? Here comes the hands. All right. Give me the foot. Thank you. All right. No, don't step in the imaginary goo. All right. This is a bad spot for that hand because it goes into the floor. We need to get him moving. We need to get him moving. Ah! <clears throat> Quit spawning in. Go home. <laughs> hey, Oriax, what's your opinion on combo-based hack and slash games, Devil May Cry or Bayonetta, for example? Uh, they're pretty good. Pretty good. I think as long as they're not, like... As long as the enemies aren't too bullet spongy, I, you know, you know what I mean. Like if they're not too much of a damage sponge, then it's fine. When I need to combo something for ten minutes just to get rid of like a basic ad, eh, I'm, I don't like it as much. Good lord! Clearly, I played too much Dark Souls too. I am dodging like a absolute scrub. Good lord! Please stop. What am I missing? Hand? We need hand. Alright, let's let's go. Fuck you. Alright. <laughs> These fucking guys, I can't <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can throw? I didn't know that. Yeah, get away from that corner. Now we're talking. That's better. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you hate them too. Alright. Now give me your hand quite what I meant. Let's try this again. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh my god. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever, dude. If you're not gonna play nice, neither am I. Another dead run. And sit. There we go. How's the run so far? Eh, it's going okay. Um, <laughs> could be better. <laughs> could be better. I mean, I still haven't equipped, like, this to increase the damage, but the damage isn't our problem. Unfortunately. The problem is that the, uh... The problem is the hitboxes. The hitboxes are awful. Do I think Sultan Sacrifice will ever release on Steam? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, Epic, to my knowledge, has never been able to secure a game purely on its own servers, unless you're talking like Fortnite, and that's because that was like their game. Like they created that game. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I had to guess, I would expect it to come out sometime in May, because that'll be a year. And that seems to be Epic's general MO. What is Sacred Flame? Apparently it's a really garbage pyromancy <laughs> with very limited hitbox. It's a grab attack, but it does do damage, it, like, even if you don't grab. The problem is it's a grab attack, so, like, and it's very slow. So we're kind of at the mercy of the game right now. We're going to try this boss like one more time. And then we're going to move on and try and get some more stuff for the build. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. There you go. There you go. That's a spirit. Crush those that love you. You can do it. 
The fuzzy one, are you as hype as for Dragon Dogma 2 as I am? I did not watch the game whatevers this year, and I did not know that was a thing, so now I am. Thank you for letting me know. I did not know that was coming. No, don't you do that. Keep this hand here. Give me the hand. No, give me the hand. What is this bullshit? Give me literally anything. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, how do I ask this? I need you to stop doing that. Go. All right. Well, clearly the hand is kind of a lost cause. We only got it like once or twice, so we'll just go for the balls and call it a day. Again with the being inside the floor thing. Okay. Good boss. So happy. Don't you do it? <laughs> Don't you fucking do it? Run away. Okay. The slam. All right, that's pretty much all the minions gone. If you would kindly stand still for just a moment of my time, thank you. And big slam. And gimme. Nope. Try again. And we're out of vests again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We're going to move on. Uh, <laughs> we can come back to this. We'll come back to that one later. Moving on. Let's find somebody else to high five, huh? We. We. Nope, nope, don't do it. Don't. I said don't. I said don't! <laughs> Guys, I think we made a mistake with this run. Please help. Alright, anyway. What was that? Huh? What was that? I didn't hear anything. Moving on. The boss is, in fact, optional. Yes. Yeah. I was. Uh, we do need... To beat it at some point um, because at the end of the run I would love nothing more than to have the demon scar um, but that's uh, a <laughs> that's some real that's some real wishful thinking so uh, does not need to happen right now okay dogs anything that is not like relatively humanoid in height is literally the bane of this build's existence I swear What is the demon scar? It is a weapon you can transpose out of the demon prince's soul. Z? Souls? Plural? I don't know. Later, McDude. Have a good one. See you next year. Demon scar scales with dex. Yeah, but it also gives the pyromancy sacred... It gives sacred flame a 2.75 boost. You're forgetting, we don't care about the damage that the actual flame does, we care about how it affects the pyromancy. So. Demon Princes with 50% fire resistance? Oh, is that all? Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> nice thing is, is there is a talisman, the white hair talisman, um, which you can get in the Smoldering Lake, and if you can do that, it uses the thrust damage from the talisman on Sacred Flame. So while Sacred Flame itself is supposed to only do fire damage, there's a way to make it not. So, you know, so really weird. This, this is one of the reasons I picked it, is this pyromancy is really stupid and weird. Like it shouldn't do half the things it, like it does. But it does, 
And I would love to test them for the sake of laughing at the numbers. All I need is the game to freaking, you know, kind of work with me here. <laughs> Just need you to work with me a little bit. Hey, is this a piece of Titanite? Thanks. All right. Move right along. Well, Yorm is fire immune, so what about that? Well, that's why we do the, uh, that's why we'd use the thrust. That's where we use the thrust damage. Ye of little faith. Happy New Year to you too, Dan. We're a little early, but, you know, it's all good. Alrighty. So far, so good. How's my armored situation going? Why aren't I wearing all this? <laughs> it's a silly look. I love it. Um, let's go ahead and put on this too. Why the hell not? Might as well start getting used to that damage. And the... There's a, another... Oh no, the ring I have already. This is the one that's here right now, right? Great swamp ring. So there's no point in getting that again. But there is... Oh, there is a casting ring, though. I think it's hidden in here. I'm pretty sure. No, bad. Go away. And also the grass crest shields out here somewhere. Somewhere around here. I know these things exist. I just gotta. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember where they are. It's been. A, it's been a, quite a bit since I've last played Dark Souls Three. Hmm. Okay, I think that's where the, the ring is. You can grab the Abyss Watchers? Yes, you can also grab the Crystal Sages. So, that'll be fun. Don't you move. Ba-boom! Oh god, he's still moving. Uh, have another. There we go. Hey, there's the last Titan Shire I needed. Nice. And this will increase our casting time until I can get something else. Until I can improve upon that, that'll help for now. Let's put on the better armor. Yes, indeed. Now we're moving. Now we're moving. I don't think I... I didn't find the grass crash shield yet. When people say birthday cake is a flavor, they just mean frosting. That's all they mean. They just mean birth your typical... really bad... <laughs> cream cheese frosting. No, cream cheese isn't even... I don't think it's even cream cheese. Sit, boo-boo. Boo-boo, sit. Got this. Good there. No. This is the part where you go home. Go home, boo boo. I don't wanna. Oh, good lord. Alright, well, let me give you pets at least. Take your pets! Take your scratchies! Oh god. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Alright, if we get if we get this dog off the edge here. Just like that other guy. <laughs> Go on now. No. I just want the bonfire. Thank you. All right. Whew. And let's go somewhere else for a minute. Okay. That's better. Cast speed still scales with Dex and Dark Souls 3. It does to a point. Um, but... It's basically an invisible 50 counter. This thing basically gives me like negative 20 to that 50 counter, so it, we're doing better. But if I just go get like the Beltry Belvine or one of those, whatever the hell it's called, that gives you 99. So it's like as, you can literally not go any casting faster if you've got that in hand. So we are going to be doing that. I do not have any Esther shards. Okay. All right. Where's my boy? 
Hello. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, can you make this even better? Thank you. Do not be gone for long. What is it? <laughs> All right, so he's done. That's good. GMS, I'm a married man. I cannot, I cannot help you. <laughs> You're too late. Mm -mm. Uh, there we go. Kyle, love the content, keep up the great work. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Oh God, hello. Alright, let's, uh, let's go anywhere but here, apparently. Try to remember. We can go after the Crystal Sages, we might as well. But there is... Oh, this dog! There is something over here. Woo! Okay. And S shard, yes. Good. Score one for the memory bank. How's it going so far? Better than expected. Certainly better than expected, that's for sure. Alright, let's see, I think... Oh god! Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, good lord. Why is the werewolf still here? <laughs> All right, we're fine. We made it. Easy. Okay, your turn. Hold this for me. Yeah. A boom. Nice. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You're staying here with me. <laughs> Oh, this is unfortunate for you. How can I keep... Does, does this just keep happening? Oh, no, he gets away. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, if you ever want to beat the Crystal Sage down half of his health with minimal effort, now you know. Right, this is going to make it hard, though. Not the real one, not the real one. Oh, there he is, over here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That is going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Serpentine! Yeah, yeah, we're going to need to do that. What are we going to be doing for New Year's? I am going out of town to see some friends. It's got to be nice. We're going to get together, play D&D, &D, and probably do a little bit of drinking and... Just have a good time. Should be nice. Secret flame secretly busted. I don't think it's a secret. I just think it has enough negatives that no one's actually trying it. <laughs> that was a bit violent. <laughs> I woke up today and I chose violence. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. Why did you just cast? Ow. I don't know. Ooh, what the? Oh, God! <laughs> I have never seen that move. Okay. Learned something new today. <laughs> Kill Orbeck. No, he's fine. Oh, wow. He actually got away from me that time. Interesting. There he is. There we go. <laughs> I rolled to seduce the flame goddess. I don't need to roll to seduce the flame goddess. Alright, so it looks like if we cast it quicker, there's a chance he'll actually stick around. Maybe. Ow, you dickle. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, so I don't want to waste my casts. Oh god! But it's also going to be very hard to grab you. While all these other bozos are here, that's going to be a real problem. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to be a thing. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? What else can I go? I can go down towards the Watchers, the Abyss Watchers. That's fine. Where, where are the fast casts? Where are the fast casts? One of them is behind these guys, behind the Crystal Sages, so that's out. Where's the other one, though? Oh, I think the other one's, like, even further into the game. Okay, no, that's not it. Yeah. Would ever say see me play Lost Epic? Um, I do own it. I think they I think the creator sent me a key, but I have not gotten around to playing it. Uh so no idea. <laughs> More armor maybe. Um maybe we might find something that goes a little bit uh We might have something that's a little bit more magic heavy. That might be good. Try turning on easy mode. Um, you know, my version seems broken. I don't think it has that. Every time I pick up Dark Souls, it seems like my, uh, my easy mode broken button is broken, and it just keeps making me do challenge runs. It's really weird. Alright, let's see here. Magic defense. Magic defense. Makes sense the cleric would be one of the stronger ones. Alright, 3.5, 3.5. That one's fine. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Did not help. <laughs> no, no, don't you dare. Right. One. And just immediately cast it again. He's getting away from me now. Weird that it only worked the one time. Hmm. There you are. And, nope, still not going to give it to me. Weird. Okay, well, that's alright. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, okay, I was expecting the, uh, the clones, but... I'm not complaining. Oh. <laughs> Apparently he just realized that fact, too. <laughs> Hermes! Love the runs, can't wait for the emulation run. Also, happy early New Year. Well, thank you. Appreciate your support. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Oh, you've been here for a month. My bad. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you've been enjoying your stay. We got it. We got it. Go for two. What the hell is this? Hello? What are you doing? <laughs> you were supposed to go away. Oh, no. Oh no. Parry him then <laughs> uh, I am not good at parrying the sages, weirdly enough. I never really did a lot of parrying in this game. I parried the world in Dark Souls 1, and then Dark Souls 2 was slightly different, so that just kinda turned me off of to it all in general. Though I recently picked it back up and I was doing a lot of parrying in Dark Souls 2 and I was actually having a really good time. So maybe uh Maybe, maybe we could do it. We'll see. Woo. Later, press. Thanks for joining us. Make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Get out! <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> you know what you did! <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Have a good one. Take care. Ow. Again with the... I just need slightly faster cast speed. That's all we need. Why doesn't that hit him anymore? I don't... Ugh. Ow! <laughs> Dang it. 
Dark Souls 2 parries are a little funky, but so much fun when you get them down. Yeah, yeah. They are a little funky. I understand what they were going for. They're like, well, you know, they didn't want you to be able to just chain parry because that's what you could do in Dark Souls 1. But they might have overdone it just a little bit. You know what might help? If we didn't have this on. Let's try that. Let's, let's turn down some of the damage we're taking and see if that helps a little bit. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Okay. I was looking at chat. That was a mistake. Uh, if I get this off fast enough, we'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I can with that, man. Come on now. No. Top it. What is happening? There we go. Okay. Got it. Cobra? Wow. $50. Thank you so much. Salt and Sanctuary videos inspired the Garden of Evil where the party was attacked with a giant potato whose weakness was the eyes. <laughs> Very nice. They dropped the golden spud, which planted will grow an entire potato plantation overnight. Aww. That is, uh... That is one hell of a reference that I am totally on board for it. Well, thank you so much for the donation. Very much appreciated. Also, Bloodhound Ultimate Hunter. Thank you to you as well. There we go. Is it actually going to work this time? Give me the stun lock. There it goes. Check a little Estus. He's going to get away. No, no he's not. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> it's working. He can't get away! <laughs> We're almost there! One more cast. And that's it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, is that all we had to do? <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, stupid. First try, let's go. First try, let's go. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. More FP, please. I don't know what the soft cap is, and I do not care. Alright, let's see. I got an Estus shard we could throw around. That's the perfect time to join the stream. Yeah, that was a great time to join the stream. <laughs> it's only downhill from here. Only down here. Well, actually, I guess there's a couple more bosses where I can kind of do that, so, uh, I don't know, it might not be so bad. Is it 4-4 four four now? I hope it's 4-4. Four four. Nope. It is not. Andre, you're doing me dirty, man. Now for the cathedral. Exactly. Yeah, we're making our way. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Even Stevens. That's better. Okay. You didn't even know that secret flame affected enemies outside of NPCs? Oh yeah. No, it works good. <laughs> works pretty good. Don't worry about Yorm. Don't worry about Yorm. We have a plan. I'm glass cannoning again? Look. I mean, yes, but also... <laughs> I know. I know. One step at a time. We gotta get this build off the ground first before we can even it out. We gotta do that first. Can I even, like, anything with these guys? Probably not. Eh, yes, but also no. Not worth it. Not worth it. Okay. Uh, don't know how I quite got here, and I don't quite care. Uh, my, my face! Uh, 
and run it. Where's the Elden Ring run? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I will be starting the one and only Elden Ring run I will be doing. I will be starting it in January. Uh, you'll get it when it's done. Alright. Hey, you! How's it going? You seem quick. Oh, ow. Oh, okay. Yes, come to me. No, wait, don't. <laughs> I changed my mind. Just kidding. There we go. Uh-oh. Nope. Just gotta pretend I know what I'm doing. Haha! -ha, I just wanted the paladin ashes this entire time. Fuck you! There, there we go. Ah! <laughs> the hell was that? Elden Ring runs are just too long for the YouTube format? Uh, probably. I mean, to be fair, my runs are always 30 to 40 minutes, so... Uh. Although I have... It seems like everyone that does a Elden Ring run tends to be about an hour long. Which is probably why I'm just gonna, like I said, just gonna do it all at once... I hope you guys are ready. It's going to be like three and a half hours long, but uh, but that's what it is. <laughs> but it'll be the only one, so you know you don't have to watch it ever again. Please get away from me. Why? Please get away. We're so close to the we're so close to the goodies. Please leave me alone. Do I have any New Year's resolutions? Um. Technically, technically, yeah. Not really sure, a hundred percent yet, what they'll be, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I have plans to improve over next year. Let's put it that way. All right, I'm just gonna talk to him a little bit that way. He stops moaning every time I enter this room. So that's good. Do Elden Ring live streams? No, no. The problem with Elden Ring live streams is everybody wants to backseat game and tell you where, like, all the things you're missing, and you're gonna miss a lot of things. So, uh, better to just kind of just do it on my own time and call it a day. Also, I don't enjoy it playing Elden Ring for fun, so, <laughs> so it's a little hard for me to <laughs> do that and not just be a, like a cranky bitch the entire time. Oh, that was a wooden shield. I didn't want that. Would much rather play other games. Like XCOM 2. Why play Elden Ring when we can play XCOM 2? Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh, you touched me! Okay, well. Great, now I have worms. But, hey, all right. We now have the fastest cast rate in the game. We're good. <laughs> I hate having fun. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Titanite I don't need. Blood I didn't need. Well, I needed that blood. Hold on now. Any hints what the Elden Ring challenge will be? Fire bombs only. Is that enough of a hint? <laughs> Is, uh, I know it's vague, but I, hopefully that was enough of a hint for you to know which way, what you're getting into. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I don't have a torch. That's why I didn't want to get hit. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll just sit at the bonfire. It's going to be okay. Whew, okay. Okay. I have never tried Faster Than Light. Um, I do own it. I would like to try it at some point. I would like to try it at some point. There's a lot of there's a lot of games I'd love to try. I actually kind of contemplated uh, for one of the streams in January. Cause like I said, I'd like to do like maybe just two videos in January to kind of like take it easy. 
Um, which would then like give me more time to work on the Firebomb video and also uh, to actually play some games. Um, I have started to dabble a little bit in some new games, or not new games, but in games I've never played, and it's been a lot of fun. I'd like to, I think, for one of the streams in January, do a demo disc, if you will. Um, I have been given so many games over the past like year that I have not played or I have played a bit but I never had a chance to make content for so I think it would be nice to just like as a thank you to all the developers that keep sending me free games <laughs> you know first world problems but uh I would like to thank them in some way so I would like to do like a stream where I just play through like six or seven or as many games as I can uh not play through them but like you know demonstrate them and be like yeah so this is this game it's pretty cool this is my opinion on it and then just kind of go from there might be neat I know it's not a challenge run or anything so you know some people won't tune into that but uh, it might be this might be a nice change of pace Gavin, the answer is chicken, man. You get the highest quality chicken leg from chicken. <laughs> I, I don't understand your question. Why <laughs> Why are you confused? <laughs> if you're looking for high quality chicken legs on fish, you've gone too far. <laughs> I have too much free game flex. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely a problem of the, uh, the old problem of I have so many games and zero time. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I really wish, I really wish I could play a lot of the games, because a lot of them are, like, really good, or really interesting. Like, I have Callisto Protocol, and I have not picked it up, and I want to so bad. But I can't, because I don't have time. <laughs> you know, it's, like I said, I know it's, I know it's kind of like a, ooh, lemon, complaining about having too many games, but, like, I mean, that's what this channel's about. Let's be fair. <laughs> the channel is literally about having too many games. Uh, what, sir? Okay, you're gonna live. Well. If you could just stop hitting me for a minute. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm almost dead. Run, run, run! Shit! Okay. You can do a non-challenge run of a game? Sometimes, sometimes. It's called the second channel. It's called the second channel. And I've been neglecting it <laughs> for like the past month and a half because I've been so goddamn busy. I was not expecting the entire wave of sponsors that came in in December. And let me tell you, sponsors are needy. They are a needy bunch. What with their time limits and needing you to have videos done beforehand so they can make sure you didn't say anything inappropriate and blah 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 so annoying but you know no shortcut for me I know I know speaking of which hold on a minute oh I don't need that to get the bonus fun fact you don't need the stats to use the bell tree bell vine whatever the hell it's called uh, in order to get the bonus Whoops, that guy died. What's the second channel again? <laughs> it's called Shortcut Unlocked. Which apparently is a unique enough name that if you type in type it in on YouTube, you'll get it. Which is pretty cool. I like I like to think that's uh I like to think that's a, a nod to my creative writing, but I don't I don't think so. But yeah, shortcut unlocked, baby. If you need if you need more streams. That is the place to go, because that is where I casually play through things. You need to make more people see that channel? I need to do more things with that channel first before I can feel good about doing that. But the problem... Ow. Okay, that's fine. Um, the problem with the second channel... Or that I'm currently having anyway, is that I don't really have time to edit videos for it and even though the videos that I'm editing for it are like three minutes long because most of them are just like 
here's the game I played. It's pretty cool. Okay, bye. Um, the problem is that that three minute video takes at least an hour to throw together on a good day. And I, <laughs> I don't have an hour <laughs> to spare. Um, so, and of course, and my buddy Dan, who uh, was recently shown in the Halo vid, which YouTube was kind enough to hide from everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, my buddy Dan actually did do a lot of editing for me um, with the second channel. Like, he helps me out with all of my uh, short form content. But unfortunately, he has also been extremely busy because adults, we are adults. And so that happens sometimes. So we haven't, between us both, we have not had a moment to actually do anything with the second channel. So it's kind of hard for me to promote it <laughs> when there hasn't been an update for like two months <laughs> so but uh one day one day like i said this uh this year you know what ixy i have my answer for you this year my new year's resolution is to find a better balance like a better work-life balance i i need to make sure that i have plenty of time to do things with the family of course that's that'll never change um but i would like to find the rhythm that I'm most comfortable with for the channels. I don't think I've found that yet. I don't want to do a video once every, like, blue moon because YouTube hates that and stops, you know, stops pushing your videos if you aren't regular. But also, once a week is kind of a lot. I'm kind of impressed that I was able to do it as long as I did. Um... And, I mean, it, it clearly paid off. Like, you know, we're at over 200,000 subscribers now, and that is uh, amazing. But, uh, but yeah, no. That, um, that's probably going to change this upcoming year. I'm probably going to tone it down a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah, Ixie, if you want to go ahead and start timing out anyone that's screaming about chicken, the joke is old. It can stop. The joke is old. We get it. Ha ha, chicken, chicken. Now hush. We don't do that here, guys. We don't do that here. If you want to scream memes, go watch a Fortnite stream. Because I do not have time. All right. Move right along. You watched a bit of the Halo video, you two were a pair of giggly boys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were... We just had fun with it. It was nice. It was a nice change of pace. You know, there, I know there was no challenge runs, so, like, again, some people are like, eh, you know, like, not really interested. And that's fine. But uh, if all you wanted was a little bit more lemon in your life, and you wanted to see how I interact with friends, uh... <laughs> that oh wow really okay that's fine I guess uh, that's that's the video to watch that is the video to watch <laughs> Thanos snapped the chicken man <laughs> you made one mistake you were annoying snap <laughs> yeah anyway moving right along. Well, put this down because I have a feeling I'm going to be using that shortcut quite a bit. Friendly fire equals interaction with friends. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's Halo. I mean, come on. Oh, wow. Shit. Wow. Did not expect the uh, fucking no scope over there. Nicely done. Good on ya. What's that plant in your offhand? It is the bell vine. It is a piece of garbage as far as this run is concerned. However, uh, it's normally used to cast like miracles and stuff, so I won't be using it for that. But it does increase your casting speed by as fast as it will go. So that is uh, that is what it's for. That is why we have it because 
otherwise, Sacred Flame takes forever to cast, and it's uh, not good. <laughs> it's been getting me killed. If this is the back logs, then where are the front logs? Good question, don't know. I don't think I've ever seen the front logs. I have seen the backlog singular. There is a there is another channel called the Backlog Singular, but I don't know anything about them. But I don't know anything about them. Can we see the difference in speed? I'm sure we will in a minute. Uh, let me kill this thing over here. Because this beastie over here, the ring it drops is actually good for this build. Ow. Of course, if we... Oh, I forgot about the little guy. Okay. Oh, there's more than one. Okay, well, this is uh, turning out very badly. Give me one thief. One, two, three. There we go. So yeah, that's a little bit faster. Shame that explosion doesn't like to carry up effect damage. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, wow, we got him. <laughs> hey. Nice. Now you. Oh, good, it works. All right, easy. And another one. Oh, okay, yep. Shield blocks it. Now we know. Can confirm. I forget who said that, but they, you were right. All right, I'm going to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Mama call bullshit. What you do? What you going to... Oh, we're going to make a mistake? That's unfortunate. Bye bye Okay. All right. Let's hope we kill this on the first try so we don't have to do that again. Here, big boy. There you are. I don't know what attacks you have. Mm, this could be bad. Oh, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> no, no. Icky. Icky. No touch. Mm, this is gonna be really bad. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you move. And that's absolutely terrible damage. Okay, so that's not happening. Cool. <laughs> cool. Good. So, yeah. So, what would have been nice is that boss, well, mini boss, that mini boss there, the ring it drops, the Aldrich Ruby or Sapphire, whatever it is, um, if we were able to get it, that would, because the Sacred Flame attack counts as a crit every single time, that would mean that if I had both of those rings, we would be able to use this to increase my health and mana every single time I attacked. Which would be great. Unfortunately, it appears that it doesn't care for my attack, so that's probably not going to happen. That seems to me to be a uh, one of those items I get off stream <laughs> when I have nothing else to do and I grind for hours. Hooray. So, I don't know if it would make that much of a difference anyway. It would basically just give me like 50% more casts and uh, like 80 health each time I kill something. So, not the, not the biggest difference in the world. All right, let's see here. If I go this way, this does something, right? I always get lost down here. Yeah, there's another shortcut. All right, cool. Sacred Flame is such a weird spell. I know. I know. That's why I like it. It's one of those ways, like, uh... It's just one of those weird things that no one ever plays around with. These are the kind of videos I like to make. The ones that are like, hey, you know this thing that you've heard of but never used? It's fucking stupid. You ready to see how? You know? <laughs> you know. Like, uh, like the Crystal Ring Shield and things like that, you know? And, for example, uh, when I 
edit down and finish the dagger run for Dark Souls 1. Um, Priscilla's dagger. Really weird dagger. Very cool. Literally dances. Like, we're talking like pre-dancer. Like, if you wanted to be the dancer of the Boreal Valley, that is how you do it. Very cool. But no one ever gets it because everyone doesn't want to cut off her tail. <laughs> also, her tail is hard to cut off, so, you know, like, I get it. But, but yeah. Ba boom If it's parryable, that might be an option. That is a good call. I don't think it is, though. It's a good call, but I don't think it is. Where's the... There it is. There's the exit. It wasn't too far. Roll on through here. All right. <laughs> Hello. No, don't you. Mm. Well, at least, at least we brought him with me. Well, at least we brought him with me. That's fine. Ah, well. What's the scaling on the Sacred Flame? So Sacred Flame scales with spell buff, which is uh, this thing. Where is it at? Let's see if I can point it out to you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. Spell buff. Uh, degree to which spells are strengthened. Spells take the form blah blah blah. So, the only way to really increase that as far as I'm aware is by upgrading the glove. I think. Is this the right way? I think. No, I'm, I'm going the wrong way here. Um, yeah. So I think that's the only way to do it. But I could be wrong. Maybe if we increase our faith and intelligence, that might also raise the spell buff a little bit. It probably does. But who knows. But who knows. I've always found the Painting Guardian knife to have a really fancy moveset. I never really used it that much because of how short it is, you know? It is an interesting moveset, but it is far too short. Probably good for, like, reposts or something, though. <laughs> Crown of Pie, uh, God bless you for staying up as late as you did. Go get some sleep, man. Go get some sleep. See you next year. Does a spell buff not scale with strength and intelligence for Pyrogloves? I don't think strength has anything to do with it. It's usually intelligence and faith for Pyromancies. Oh, okay. But I could be wrong. I can't honestly say. <gasps> We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, well, you survived. Okay. Nope. Faith and intelligence do increase the spell buff. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Did you say, Lemon, we need to make this an even bigger glass cannon? Okay. Soft cap is 30-30. That's good to know as well. Thank you. Sleep is not important when you're a gamer? False. As someone who games on the regular, it is extremely important to get your sleep. Not getting enough sleep is bad for your brain. Say, do as I say, not as I do. All right, what do I got going on here? We have that. I do have one ring, but that's nothing. Does the glove does the glove scale with anything? Faith and intelligence. Broccoli with lemon. Good choice. Good choice. Does this raise it? Oh, it does. Grub man, I'm gonna need you to just kind of like relax. Look at your face, man. What's up with your face, dude? <laughs> what brain? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. You're happy you got to catch one more stream before the end of the year? Me too. Me too. Alright, a little bit of different differences between what the soft caps might be. 
I don't think it matters that much. We won't be going for those soft caps until later in the game. So don't worry about it. But it... Oh, God, I almost stepped right off of that. That would have been bad. Um, but good to know, though. It's good to know that those are important later on. Have I played any of the God of War games? I played the original trilogy. Did not care for it. Uh, beat it. Put it down forever. Um, the boss fights are cool. Ish. I don't know. No, not really. <laughs> you know, on second thought, no, not really. Overall, it's kind of a meh. It's a pretty meh game. Now, the new ones, I can't say for... I can't say anything about the new ones. I know they're completely different than the original trilogy, so I'm sure they're great. Uh, have not had the privilege of playing them. have not had the privilege of playing them just yet. We'll get to them in time. That is not what I wanted. I don't want the weapon. I want the armor. Okay, that's also not what I wanted. Well, I got some shoes. Not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'll get better. Got the gauntlets! Ugh. And the armor, okay. Sippy break. Respect it. Uh. Oh, well, I gotta grab this too while we're at it. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Nice. Frickin' got it. You don't think Lemon's ever done a premiere before? Uh, we have done premieres, like, maybe, like, two or three times they're not really I don't think they really work for my content so we don't do it we'll not be doing more of that it's kind of like shorts like the shorts don't really work for this channel either I don't feel like if YouTube ever like ups its live stream game and makes it so that you guys can actually like clip things and then send them to me that would probably be good for some shorts but uh Outside of that, I've just got one community member who uh, is kind enough to throw together some highlight videos for me, and that's about all we're doing. He did not respect the sippy break, you are correct. What a douche. What a douche! I am not dead. And we're good. I just need to get past this whole party over here and we'll be set to go. Woo. Alright, that's unlocked. We're all set there. Now we're almost done. <laughs> Do Twitch? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, thank you. We started in that cesspool. We got out of it. No reason to go back. All right. Put on the bell vine. Where's my friend here? This is going to be a little tricky. Hold still. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, one. <laughs> hmm. Just, uh, gonna be a little hard to grab that one. Might be a little tricky to grab that guy. He's learned that be standing in the middle, safety in numbers. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I grabbed the right one. Mm, grab him again. There you go. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. All right, well, shoot. Okay, that one's farther away. Later, Dragon Dan. Have a good one. There we go.
Uh, okay, so if I don't actually lock on, it's not gonna give it to me? That's weird. Not a fan of that logic. I'm here. Welcome back, Gavin. Use it as a learning opportunity. Right. Imagine streaming on Reddit. <laughs> well, you know, to be fair, I did watch a lot of concerts on Reddit back when quarantine first hit. It was pretty nice. But, uh, but yeah, right now, no. <laughs> I was not even close to the one I wanted to get. Oh, man. Alright, so I think that's probably enough to get us into Pope mode. Yep, here he comes. This is a little trickier. Alright, and then we hug the Pope. Decent damage. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and this is where it gets tricky. Redgrave, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get in there. There we go. No, what? Oh, this is bad, guys. This is real bad. Literally grabbing everybody but the one I want to grab. That is not okay. And with no AoE damage, we're not going to be able to do this. Okay. Um. Go ahead and end it. Thank you. Hmm. Where? Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, well. Those will help. <laughs> Should have used those. But alluring skulls might be the way to go here. Mob the wolf. Just wanted to say thank you for getting me into these games. Now you're on the grind of 100% of all Soulsborne. I am so sorry. <laughs> Happy New Year's to you, too. And thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Okay, so, yeah. We're gonna need, probably, to do some alluring skulls. Would be my guess. Getting hit isn't too much of a problem. Not too worried about that. Take that. Let's make sure the allotment is correct. I feel like six should be more than enough. It's just a matter of getting to them. It's just a matter of getting them out of there. Now, who sells them? You sell six. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's probably worth it. How much do you cost? 500! Ugh. Alright, well, let's... let's uh, no, if we're gonna go big, we're gonna go big. Go big or go home. If this doesn't work, then, you know. <laughs> you know. Alright, we can also burn this, so that is better, so that's good. Alright, let's try it again. If you're allowed learning skills, are you also allowed kicking? Oh. Hmm. Uh, thorn armor would not be allowed because that does damage. We're not allowed to do damage. Uh, apparently, you cannot kick. Yeah, that is, that is significantly faster. You guys were asking earlier what the difference is. It's, it's, it's about maybe half a second. Maybe a little less. But yeah. Okay. Anyway. That might help. Let's see what we can do. Does jump casting work for this spell? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, kick itself does no damage. Actually, you know what? If I take this off... Aha! That's how we'd have to do it. So, yes. Yeah, so, we can kick, but we're gonna have to play the old switcheroo game. So, we can... It's an idea. It's an idea. And I am open to ideas right now, chat. So, let's... Let's try a few. Let's try kicking. 
Let's try kicking. And if that doesn't work, then we've got the alluring skulls. And we'll go from there. Yeah, no kick with spell tools, apparently. Jump attack is ca jump casting. I don't know about that. Okay. What's up, Judge? How we doing? Jump casting is Elden Ring? Ah, well, there you go. That explains why I've never heard of it. That explains it. You still feeling good after getting that video out there, uh, Judge? I hope so. Alright, let's... Give you a hug. There we go. That's good. Oh, we got three of those. Alright. That's another shorty. We'd like the shorties. There we go. And that's another shorty, but he's really tucked in there. Uh, not tucked enough. Got him. Alright. <laughs> Judge says, yeah. That's good. Glad to hear it. Alright, I think we're going to let the tall boy just kind of simmer for a bit. I think we're just going to let that sit for a bit. Project Tristan, thank you so much. You know what? Somebody else also donated through tips. And the problem, unfortunately, with tips is that it doesn't show up in the chat, so I can't see it. Uh, <laughs> and you guys usually write a big old hunk of text, which, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine. But I could not see it, so I apologize. But uh, I promise I'll read it once I get done with the stream. Wow, what are you doing over here? <laughs> what are you doing over here? But thank you so much for your, for your donations. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, I think they got one more. Yeah. Oh, it's a big boy now. Okay. Yeah, let's 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 give them another. Let's give them another one. All right. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Don't mind me. Nope. Optical's gonna grab some popcorn. Good choice. Good choice. Okay, let's see. I give you the kick. <laughs> it doesn't work. Not a good sign. All right. Farm a simple gem? Oh, yeah. That's a thing in this game. I always forget that. I always forget simple gems are a thing in this one. I always... I always think they're only in Demon Souls. Oh, all right, that's one. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, I'm out of juice. Hold on. And now the rest of the clan is here. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can just kind of lure everyone around the corner, and then do like a do a roundabout sneak attack. Yeah, here we go. All right. And now we rush in here. Nope, nope, nope. Did I get him? Yeah, there we go. All right. And pop, and run away. All right, all right. It's the best, worst strategy we have. And grab, there we go. That's good, run away. In fact, if we could lure everyone more this way again, that'd be helpful. Oh, they're doing their thing. They're doing the thing. Oh, they're still doing it even without him, huh? Uh-oh. Uh, that doesn't bode well. Um, you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. Got the wrong one. Damn it. Ah. Don't hit me. There we go. Alright, everything's fine. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Please let me leave. Okay. Running a little low. 
but we're gonna get it. Oh, and we're in dark mode. Okay, that's fun. Eh. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Not gonna go well. How do we get rid of this? <laughs> do I grab one of these? I don't think that was enough. Maybe for an iframe? No. <laughs> Shit. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, how are we going to do this? How do you stop the curse buildup? Who knows how to do that? Because, uh... That is going to be a real problem. I see people talk about force. Interesting choice. Could be good. Could be good. Doesn't do damage. Still counts. <laughs> How do you win? By winning? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very clear strategy. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. What level is Pyro Flame? It's currently at level 3. It could be a little higher, but, you know. The donation was just a little gift to you for Happy Holidays. Oh, thank you, Project Tristan. I really appreciate that. And again, I will I will read the the actual donation. I just uh, can't see it at the current time. Are we going to cheat? We're trying not to. We're trying not to. Tall Bloom and start the curse build up. Yeah, but... So, like, if we kill them, if we kill those guys, does that get rid of it? Is that how that works? Also, we don't need this anymore. Can, we can put something else here. Not that any of these help, but... Because the sword thing does not do anything. So, whatever. Uh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Ow, my face. Ah! I'm getting better at this whole lock-on thing. Or lack thereof. Getting better with that. Okay. Boy's chilling out in the back there. Let's see if we can kind of... Lure him out a little bit more. Nope, he's hiding. Okay, that's cool. That's fine, that's fine. Mm, still a little too... Tucked in. I'm not gonna be able to get this one. Alright, next one. Ah, but you're nice and out in front. That'll work. The only large shows you know you can get off this point are the lizards. Yeah, the lizards don't really uh <laughs> the lizards don't really care about sacred flames, so that's kind of out. I know you can get some from the giants in this area as well, but uh, once again. They don't... doesn't really take a whole lot of damage for Sacred Flames, so we're probably going to have to wait on that one. Going to have to wait on that one. A ring to help with curses? That would be nice. Don't know where that one is. I know it exists. I don't remember where it is, though. Again with the wrong guy. Come on, now. One in three chance. Let's go. Yeah, the Sage Ring does not stack with the Sage for, uh, the Belvine. Uh, Belvine maxes it out. Like, you literally cannot go any faster. Why not the Weed Ring? Uh, I assume that means Chlorothy Ring. And, uh, I don't know. Don't really use stamina for this build, so no real reason. No real reason for it. Uh, go for it. Ah, wrong guy. Or was it? I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Again with the big guy. Alright, well, you know, we've got more than enough Hestus. Might as well play with it. Let's see what we got. That's pretty good. What? Okay, that's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. Now it's a tall boy. Uh, you make me sad. Lloyd Ring increases all damage by 20%. It does not increase the pyromancies. I'm pretty sure it does not increase spell damage. 
Just attack rating. Why does it do that? <laughs> I very clearly hit the one I wanted. <laughs> My little character's like, nah, I like this guy more. I know you targeted this guy, but this guy could really use a hug right about now. Alright, there we go. There we go. Where's our new one? Wow. Ooh, baby. Just gonna squeeze on in squeeze on in here. There we go. People are saying it works with spells. I don't know. Alright then, if you're sure. So we'll find out. If I ever have full health. Just squeeze on in here. Wrong one. Casting at random now. I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna kill everything. Ugh. Get me out of here. All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's too many people for lock on to be useful for sure. Well, let's get rid of some of these dark casters, I guess. Might as well. Let's slow that down a little bit. Now that I've distracted everyone, let's go for the Pope. And there's the curse build up already. Fun times had by all. There we go. Okay, so it is just you have to kill, or at least distract, good lord, um, enough of the casters. Simply the only way to do it. And we're going to die now. And we're gonna die. Well, gang, it was fun. <laughs> Shit. The Demon Scar does crit boost uh, Sacred Flame. It is the best possible damage you can get. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, the main problem is that it's at the end of the game. <laughs> so, a little little hard to do. Ah, crap. Okay, well, this is uh, definitely a struggle. Let's try somewhere else, shall we? Let's go back to the woods. And go that way. Let's go back that way. Probably only two more tries. Yeah, yeah, maybe. We need to... What we really need is we need to upgrade the Pyromancy Flame. If I can get this thing to the point... where How do I get to the next section? Oh, I know. Uh, if I can get this flame to the point where I can actually defeat... Like, the Tall Boys in one hit, we'll be fine. But until that point... Eh, until that point, not so much. Hey boys, how are we doing today? All right, glad to hear it. See ya. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, wow, look at you. Oh my god, they're learning. Well, come on down. I got a treat for you. <laughs> You do more damage, 420 instead of 300? Yeah, it does appear to, like... You know, we had to test that real quick. I wasn't paying attention to the numbers. You'll do. Come on down. Oh, well, this is not... You will not do. You will not do. Uh, bonfire lit. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, no kicking. What are you doing? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Ow. Oh no, they have a brain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. Uh, sippy break. Hold on, everyone. Sippy break. Mm. 
Ah, that's better. Okay. That's better, much better. Let's go. Yeah, so we need to find something to test this theory about this, uh, the Lloyd ring. The wiki said it didn't work, but the wiki also says a lot of things, so, you know. Gotta take that with a grain of salt. Let's see. Here's where we need to go. What tea I got? I have a chocolate tea of some kind. It is quite good. Alright, so 384. Ow. <laughs> well, you know what? That actually, we don't even have to... If you could just do like a little damage to me, that's all I wanted. Thank you. 384 versus 337. Hmm. Interesting. Please stop hitting me. <laughs> okay. But yeah, all right. Looks like the wiki is incorrect. Somebody needs to, uh... Somebody needs to go fix that. I'm too lazy. But somebody should go fix that. What do you think Estes tastes like? Um, not good. Not good. According to Dark Souls lore, the undead have no taste buds. So, you know. And I guess most food just tastes like ash to them, except for Estes soup. So, like, it's... It's gotta be something, but I can't imagine it's great. All right, got that first one. Hello, how we doing? What is happening? Please let me out. I want to leave. Yeah, I could probably get the second one in. I could probably get to the second one. What is the wiki incorrect about? Uh, that the Lloyd ring, the one with the that if you have full health, uh, increases damage. They said it didn't work with uh, Sacred Flame, but apparently that is complete dookie. What am I going to use there? Our, uh, RTSR? I don't remember where it is in this game. Point me in that direction and I'll gladly grab it. Source on Undead have no taste buds? I believe the description for the... there's... I think the Sunlight Talisman has that. Matthew! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy your emotes. Um, yeah, I think it's in an item description where it has something to do with uh, Siegward or Siegland or whatever the hell his name is in this one. Siegmeier. Um, one of his items mentions the soup. And that's... Uh, and that kind of indicates it. So, RTSR is late game. Well, then... <laughs> Guess we won't be doing that, will we? Hey, boys. Scoot on up here, thank you. Okay. You could get the Morian Blade for the same red tearstone effect. True. True, we could do that. That is an option. Hit. There we go. Alright, got that. Where's that? There it is. Yeah, we could do that. The only problem then is now we said that would also mean we have a slower casting speed. So it is a it is a this is definitely a build of trade-offs. We either get faster casting speed or we get slightly more damage. And later on in, in the in the run, when like the damage is a lot higher, that 20% will mean a lot. But until, for the current time, it's like, eh, it's like an extra 80 damage, you know? Not really. Not really that great. Dragon buff? No, we're not going... Dragon's Peak is like forever and a day away. I don't, I don't think you play Dark Souls 3 very often. Uh oh. Drop it. Drop it. Put it down. Oh. <laughs> Why is that fortunate? 
But Lemon, what is immolation? Immolation is setting yourself on fire. And then trying to hug people. <laughs> and it works really badly. And it can be done. But good lord, do you lose uh, like a piece of yourself when you do it. So, uh, yeah. That's fun. We'll, uh... We'll do that, uh... <laughs> You'll learn more about that in January. You'll see. You'll see. Alright, there we go. Okay. Do, do, do. Moving right along. Let's see. So, we didn't do a whole lot of damage with that last one. Hello. But I think I might have just missed. So, let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. That's better. It's not great, but it's not... <laughs> it's not 10 damage, so, you know, we can work with this. Go. Oh, that's the slow casting speed, too. Hold on a minute. Alright. Well, you don't have to be rude. Uh oh, no, no, put it down, put it down! Okay. Ooh, ooh, ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I did the emulation run only, I knew he was crazy, but not that crazy. Well, here's the thing <laughs> he's crazy, but he's intelligent, in that he did the run, but he only did as much of the run as he had to to prove that you could beat the game. <laughs> I took it one step further, and, uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I proved you can not only beat the game, but you can beat every single boss with it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but at what cost? So, like I said, we'll, we'll see, uh, we'll see that. We'll see that, uh, yeah, sometime in January. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Crap me, will ya? Grab me, I grab you. Alright, one, two. There we go. That's what we gotta do. Ooh, come on, man. Put the lemon down! <laughs> Put the lemon down. Not a toy. Right, so we need butt slams. Here's how we're gonna do this. Well, that'll work too. We just need the long animations, is what we need. That'll do. One, two, and run away. Easy. Welty, burn, baby, burn. Ow. Should not have read the chat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Much appreciated. All right, how do you block that? Because apparently I don't know how. No. Run away. Okay, that's how we do it. Um, no? <laughs> Hard pass? No? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, Dark Souls. Oh, Dark Souls, why are you such trash? <laughs> the more I play you, the more I dislike you. <laughs> All right. Your sanity for the flame goddess. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the things I do. The things I do. But you know how it goes. If you don't appease the flame goddess, you're sleeping on the couch. So. Such as it is. I don't even really need to fight this thing. I just kind of want to. Because it means I don't have to fight the... Uh... Alright. <laughs> means I don't have to fight the deep. Alright, it's cool. That's fine. Whoa! <laughs> Wee! Elbows and burritos. Just wanted to say hi and that you love the videos. Also, enjoy your voice. Got that Morgan Freeman vibes. I don't think you've heard Morgan Freeman in a long time, but thank you. And thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. Where's Carl? Ah, he's probably seeing family. 
If I know Carl, he's out visiting family right about now. You know. Can you get a grab on the Abyss Watchers? You sure can. You sure can. I'm just being stubborn and trying to kill this boss so I don't have to come back later. Later, Optical. Have a good night. See you next year. What's this? I'll take that. Right. Poke the butt. Run away. Poke the butt. One, two, three. Run away. Poke the butt. There we go. We've got the strategy, boys. We've got it. Mm-mm. Poke the butt. Run away. Poke the butt. Run away. Not safe yet. Safe enough. Run away. Ooh. Sippy break. And back in. Where am I? Mm. Okay, found myself. Do the butt bounce. Do it. No, not the tail. There. No. There we go. There we go. I forgot how many of Dark Souls 3's bosses could be beaten by just running. I always forget that. I'm so used to, you know, dodge rolling everything. You really don't need to for these guys. Run away! <laughs> Sippy break. I don't know how we got on this half of the boss, but that's fine. And... Good. Oh, we broke him. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Here. Uh, <laughs> try to put you out of your misery. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I'm gonna have to get behind that. One more. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Don't move. Don't move. Stand still. There you go. Okay. Celebratory Baja Blast. We're good to go. Nice. You've never seen that before? Really? Oh, yeah, no. The game changes completely when you do really bad damage. <laughs> it's funny how many times Dark Souls adds these, like, hidden animations if you're doing a lot of damage slowly, you know? So there's that. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. I see you. <laughs> Also, to that person that said they asked out a girl, got rejected, but still feel good about it, well done. Good job. Like, full, full thumbs up from, from Lemon over here. Like, that, it takes guts to ask people out, and honestly, the worst thing they can do is say no. You know, you're in no worse position, usually, uh, if you ask somebody and they say no thanks. Like, you know, good on ya. Good on ya. I hope you have better luck with the next one. Proud of you. Alright, moving on. When life gives you lemons, play Dark Souls. That... Bite? I don't know if that's quite right, but, you know, it's all good. I won't complain. Alright, so I know all those guys have large Titanite shards, which, once again, I cannot get, and that's definitely becoming a problem. Definitely becoming a problem. Wealthy, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Alright. Worst thing they can say is, ew. Man, Gavin, you are just showing your age left and right today, man. Left and right. But, uh, yeah, if they say, ew, that means, uh, maybe you should be like, huh, okay, maybe I need to think about something. Consider it a harsh criticism, but 
try to make it constructive. Maybe... <laughs> maybe you need to change something. <laughs> and it could just be, you know, it could be they're being harsh for no reason. So, like, don't immediately assume that about yourself. But, you know, like... You know, do something with your hair. Take, take a shower every other day. Brush your teeth every day. Twice if you can. You know, just like... Take care of yourself, you know? Take care of yourself and keep asking, and eventually, someone will say yes. <laughs> the worst thing they could say is, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That is... That's when you know you've hit rock bottom. <laughs> when you're asking the disembodied voice on the other side of the voice box if you'd like to go on a date. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, never ask somebody out while they're at work. That is... Please don't do that. That is the last thing anybody wants. Notably, don't keep asking the same person. Also, yes. If they, if they said no, respect that. <laughs> respect that and move on. Alright, here we go. Yeah, all I can say is I'm really glad I'm not in the dating game anymore. You guys have it rough. Back in my day, we didn't have no Tinder. Actually, we probably did, but... Yeah, we definitely did. But <laughs> but I do not envy the amount of... Uh, uh, the, the, the nonsense you guys have to put up with these days. Like, ghosting? Oh, man. Talk about cowardly. On both sides, too. Like, it's not just like... It's, I see it happen from both sides of the, the pond. Men and men and women. And it's just like just just say no. <laughs> Do have a little respect for the other person. Just tell them no. My gosh. If you ghost, that's just you need to rethink things. <laughs> you don't have to move on, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on. I think I've opened the door. I should have opened the door. Door is open. We're good. Alright. It's good. <laughs> Lessons of life with lemon. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, take it all with a grain of salt, of course. You know, I'm an older generation than you all, probably. Most of you, I imagine. Um, so there's that. You know, I'm a little biased in that regard. Uh, I'm also in a disembodied voice on the other side of a microphone, so, you know, what do I know? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You're too hot for this world anyway. <laughs> Dan, trust me, I know. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I weren't, <laughs> if I were single, who, Dan, buddy, you and I, just saying. But unfortunately, Mrs. Lemon, she put her, she put that ring on it, and that ring does not come off. So, you know, doing what I can. Mm -mm. You know, I'm doing well in the liquid department, but I forgot to grab a snack. And it is definitely lunchtime. And I kind of planned on continuing the stream. I was hoping since this is the end of the year stream we could go a little longer than usual, but uh... who, baby, I'm hungry. Might have to take a five minute break so we can make some sandwiches. Secret Flame is in fact the Melee Pyromancy. You are correct. Woo! <laughs> and if you notice where we are, you can see how far we've gotten so far. It is going better than expected. Which is to say that it goes better... It, it's going at all. That's really... A, I'm a sour old fruit. <laughs> That's not true. Young lemons are sour, too. You're being such a tease, lemon stop. <laughs> I'm not teasing anybody except my buddy. I'm not teasing anybody I don't know. Hope the stream goes well and hope you enjoyed the holidays. Well, thank you. I did, and it seems to be. Stream while eating lunch? We kinda can, like... What we might do, what I'd like to do, 
because this is kind of like the end of the year wrap up, you know? And it's a challenge run, sure, and it, it might be content for the future, which is great. That guy tried to kick me through the door. Um, but towards the end of this stream, I think what I'd like to do is just kind of have a just chatting, you know? Like, hey, let's just like chillax, talk about how things went with the channel, talk about how you guys are doing, talk about stuff, just stuff. You know, have a sippy break, take it easy. Have a sippy break, take it easy, you know how it goes. Alright, you. Hold my beer. No? Alright, this is gonna be a little trickier than I hoped. This is gonna be a little trickier than I hoped. Oh god, okay. There we go. Oh, nope, not quite. Alright. Alright, so this is the test run. We got the bell vine, we're good there. That's a really long animation. That's a really long animation. We like that. Okay, all right. We can work with that. Now we just need him to do that like 16 more times. Alternatively, if the other, if the other undead, yeah, there he is. All right, if he can help out a little bit, that would be helpful. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, just focus on him. There you go, now you're thinking. That's the spirit. There you go. Do you dodge? No, you don't. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's happening all over again. Ow. Wait, wait, wait. Time. Okay. I deserve that. <laughs> Shit. End of the year happy hour with stream. Yeah, there you go. Happy hour with chat. It's the lemon happy hour. That would be nice. You guys want to do that? That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah, we're definitely st we can definitely stun lock a little bit. Maybe better. We kind of it was bad timing. We ran out of Estus, but but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. You can't infinitely combo me. Au contraire. Ow, ow. <laughs> All I need is one. All right, there we go. Number one. Let's go for number two. All right. Good. Let's see if we can get number three. Oh, nope, not quite. So if we do it a little too early... We get the damage, but not the animation. And we want the animation. That's good to know. Okay. Why suffer this challenge? Huh? <laughs> Smith, Lemon, never get to make a live stream, and I can't stay long. Just wanted to throw some love for all that you do. Keep it up. Well, thank you. Sorry you can't stay, but don't worry. The VOD will be there for later, if you're still interested. Also, hopefully this will become an actual video in the long run. Seems like it's going well enough that we could at least make an interesting video of it. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And DJ Music Master, welcome. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Okay, so that is a good animation if we're on the right side of it. Let's see. You know, I could just parry him. We could try that. Oh, God. <laughs> Immediately regret my decision. <laughs> oh, right. I'm bad at parrying. <laughs> if it's not a buckler, I can't do it. Uh, chewy. You could call it the lemon sour hour. Oh, that is really good. I'm stealing that. That's mine now. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, but holy shit, that's a good one. Wow. Wow, that's really good. Oh, wow. God, that's some content right there. Oh, man. I don't know. If I ever make a podcast with... <laughs> if I ever make a podcast where I just drink with friends and talk about whatever, like, you know, chat sends in some questions or something, we just do that. That is absolutely what it's called. Holy shit. Oh, that's an alarm. Ow. That's also a poisonous sword. Thank you for that. 
That's an alarm reminding me that I need to go on Epic Game Store and steal whatever free game is on there today. They've been dropping some some pretty bomb games, if I'm being honest. I got uh, Death Stranding. I forget what the most recent one was. Something good. Something I've been wanting for a few years. Don't. Oh, please stop. Oh, it hurts. Man. All right. Well, hold on a second. Let's, uh, let me swing over to... Let me get that epic game real quick before I forget. Because if I forget, I will never forget myself. Feels bad. Hold on a minute, everybody. Can we VIP people on YouTube stream? <laughs> that deserves one. I don't know if you can. I don't think it's like, uh... Oh, okay, no, never mind. There is no... It's Dishonored. That's what it is. Hey, nice. That's a good one. Oh, and Kerbal's next month or week. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't think you can. I think it's, uh, I think that's a Twitch thing only, unfortunately. So, YouTube, get on that. Come on. Let me, let me add little bits of flair. Death Stranding was on there? Yeah, it was the, uh, the, like, director's cut, too. Director's cut, baby. Never played it. Never played it. I meant to. A buddy even lent it to me. He's like, here, you need to play this. I was like, oh, that's, that looks awesome. And then I never touched it. Norman Reedus, forgive me. There we go. All right. And you. Okay. Well, oh, you know why that didn't work? I did not have the bell vine. I need that fast animation. Like so. There we go. Give them a sub? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Give me one second. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Ow. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Yeah, right, hold on. One second, one second, one second. Let's see if I can do that. I think I have to go on the stream itself. It's going to be interesting. I don't... I've never done this before. Never done this before. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, two. Chewy. Mm. How does one do this? <laughs> Guys, how do I chat? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, show your support. I don't want to show my support. I want to give someone a membership. Hmm. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, this is buying... No, I don't want to do this. I want to give it to somebody specific. Shit. Is there any way to do this, guys? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Also, Jay, thank you so much. Appreciate that. When I release a video, is it a lemon drop? Not entirely sure. Uh, Hopefully not. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm... Damn, I don't think you can. I don't think you can give specific uh, memberships to people like you can in Twitch. Uh, you can drop a... I can, like... I can drop a whole bunch of gifts, but that doesn't... doesn't guarantee that I get it to the person I want to get it to. That sucks. Ugh. YouTube, come on. Get on it, man. All right, well, tell you what. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Uh, Chewy Games, do you actually do things on YouTube? Let's see. Do you actually do anything on YouTube? Let's see what you got going on. You have an alcohol, indu alcohol induced video. Okay. <laughs> There's some random things here. You know what? Here you go. I'm a subscribe. I'm a subscribe to Chewy Games. There you go. Keep it up, man. <laughs> I see some Nuzlocks and things in here. Looks like. Or randomizers for Pokemon. Good shit. Keep it up. Good shit. Let's see. In fact, can I... You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Bada bing, bada boom. There, that's Chewy Games. If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna see the, see if they have any other good stuff going on there, feel free to check them out. See what's going on. There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> Moving on. 
Grass Crest Shield isn't as good as a normal shield? No, it's not. It's just good for stamina, which just means that we can sprint farther. That's really all it's good for. How, I, how long are we going to stream? Uh, I was hoping to stream for another three hours. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how long I last. Probably not. <laughs> Sub to Chewy! <laughs> yeah. There you go. Sub to Chewy if you want to see potentially funny comments and what appears to be Pokemon. Woo! Alright. Yeah. I'm... You know what? I'll be honest. I am hoping that uh, Truffle kind of... Ow, my god. I am hoping that Truffle gets a little further in their development. Um, I am on the wait list because that basically adds like Twitch features to YouTube, which is which would be great, you know. Unless you guys have like loyalty points and things like that, just really cool stuff. So we would love to have that for you all. Um, but we haven't made the list just yet. So, but when it happens, I'll let you know. Ah, I'm in a corner. Corner bad. Corner bad. All right, there's that guy. That'll help a little bit. Oh, God. Took a side sword to the face. There we go. Oh, front sword to the face, too. Okay. <laughs> Long stream today? Yeah, you know, being that it's Friday, Mrs. Lemon is at work, which means that I have all day to stream if I want to. Um, also, we kind of did everything we wanted to do, and... We're kind of just in between visits, holiday visits and stuff right now, so um, didn't have anything particularly planned for today, so I was just like, eh, screw it. Screw it. Do I like Minecraft? I did. I haven't played it in about f four or five years, so <laughs> I can't say for sure. Actually, God, it's probably been longer than that. Oh, no, it's probably been like eight or nine. Oof. So I don't know anymore. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I did, I did like Minecraft. It's a lot of fun with friends. Used to be, used to be one of the games my wife and I played together. Alright, and another one? No, okay, well, we'll, we'll take the, well, I was going to take the damage, but apparently I took the damage a little more than I wanted to. Did I burn the bone shard? I think so. God, man. When a tea is so good when it... Oh, I did not. Well, that'll help a little bit. Not by much, but it might do something. We'll burn it. We'll burn it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, wow. That tea is, like, good when it's cold, man. That's That says something. That says something. Looks like another glass cannon build. <laughs> to be fair... To be fair, I have only leveled up, like, 15 times, so, you know, it's it's not like I really had much of an option, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we could definitely use some, some health. In fact, you know what? Here, we're not using any of these souls. What is, what does this one do? No, we, we don't need any of these. None of these matter. We don't need them. Definitely don't need that one. And we'll do Stray Demon. Get that out of here. How's the dog? Dog is good. Dog is good. Still barking. There we go. How's that? <laughs> That's better. Much better. Let's go. <laughs> All right. In fact, what's, what's the next level up? How much more for the next one? Might have enough sell you some crap yeah 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 yeah. let's see 4580 huh mm, maybe maybe the deacons did not die I have moved on to bigger and better things because we need more damage oh. Satan's PR department thank you so much didn't catch it <laughs> but I will read that after I take a minute to sit down uh, but thank you. Very much appreciated for that tip. 
Let's see if we can get 2,000 here. I meant that already. Oh, yeah, we can totally do 45 hundo. Just like so. Yeah, one more bit. One more. There we go. Alright, that's a healthy boy. That's a healthy boy. Now then. Here were we. Uh, this one. Lots of money! Money, money, money. I actually didn't see the money amount either. I have no idea. I have no idea how much it was. The health like doubled. Yeah, it did. <laughs> hey, there's the dog now. Which means Mrs. Lemon must be home. She's home for lunch. Alrighty. Moving right along. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you got lemon death level bigger. <laughs> yeah, you did. I've been, you know, you're not the only one that has been telling me that I really need to stop doing that. I'm doing my best to uh, to break that habit. And it's been going well. There we go. There's the timing. There's the timing. His buddy's getting up. Where's the buddy? There he is. Okay. We're not gonna be able to do that again. But uh, half health, not bad. Significantly better. And right, there's my other boy. Awesome. Let them do their thing. Sneak a hit in here if I can. Go. And another one. And I think that is the... Yeah, alright, we'll let it happen. <laughs> awesome. Is Mrs. Lemon not Lime? No, Lime is my brother. And has never made any appearance on any channel or text or anything. <laughs> so if anyone claims they're Lime, they're probably lying. Okay, how is this going to work? Ooh, not well. Awesome. There we go. Okay, a little early. I think I know which animation I want. That's a good one. Not great, though. That one's okay. What I really want is the big one. That one right there. All right. One. And another one. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> okay. He's learning. But is he learning enough? <laughs> Will he learn fast enough? And the answer is, I don't know. Go for another one. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Okay. Got it. So... We've got a lime in the Discord, but it's not the lime. Correct. Yeah, that is not him. <laughs> that is not him. Do not be confused. Um, okay, so for the first phase, we can stunlock him. For the second phase, it is a bad idea because we won't get the animation, and he will punish the hell out of us for that. <laughs> Are your parents tree? <laughs> yes. Yes. Grandpa and Grandma Lemon are both tree. You are correct. Pine and bush. There's <laughs> no, that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. There we go. Okay. More. Okay. That should do it. One, wait a second, and again. Oh, too slow. Let's try that again. Not too fast. I mean, it is a very small window. But we're at the half health mark, so good enough. There's my friend. All right. No, no. 
Leave me alone. There you go. Yeah, deal with him. Nope. Backhanding. Oops. <laughs> Grabbed the wrong one. Ooh, got Nessus back. Don't know how. Did somebody read a comment? Okay, we're gonna have to wait for our friendo to get back, because this is a little too dangerous. Ow. Zibbity. Yeah, there you are. Oh no, not me. The other one. There we go. Again with that backhand, man. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, get him, get him. Yeah, there you go. That's the spirit. Man, what a clusterfuck. Whew, okay. Can we get a family tree vid? Haha, <laughs> no. Nope. You cannot. Very limited information about family. Uh, honestly, probably won't even get a real life version of me waving hello at you until about a million subs, so, uh, <laughs> you got some time. That was not the attack I was expecting. Hmm. Okay. Sippy break. Sippy break. Wait. Wait. Stop it. Do the jump. Do the thing. Ooh. Careful there, buddy. There we go. One! Only... Uh, <laughs> like eight, eight more to go. <laughs> Maybe nine. Okay, we have no Estus. Gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, boys. Ooh! Did not see that. <laughs> Ouch. Do I play on PS4? No. Nope. I play on PC. Am I going to do a dark hand only afterwards? No. No. You only just notice there's no music? That's because we're recording. And if I record, I can't have music in the background because otherwise it'll clash with the recording. It's my favorite candy, lemon heads. It is not. My favorite candy, if you want to call it that, is chocolate chips. Straight out the bag. It comes in a bag, therefore it's candy. Why don't I just parry the abyss watchers? Because that would require me to, one, put away the bell vine, and two, be good at parrying. So, uh, you know. Oh, stand still. Man, that is incredibly slow. That is incredibly slow in comparison. Feel like, I mean, it doesn't look like much, you know? But holy shit. <laughs> it definitely makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference. Milk chocolate or semi sweet? Uh, semi sweet nowadays. Milk chocolate's too sweet for me now. Fun fact about getting old um, the older you get, the better and better dark chocolate tastes. <laughs> You, you just want less of the sweet and more of the the chocolate, yeah? <laughs> Your taste buds will change. And you'll enjoy it. Because then your teeth won't fall out. <laughs> oh, God. Next, you're going to say my favorite food is ice cream cheese right out... Oh, cream cheese, right? <laughs> I think you said ice cream cheese. <laughs> is cream cheese right out of the pot? No. No. Mm -mm. You asked. You asked about a candy, all right? I, I, giving you what I got. I don't eat a lot of candy. Oh, here comes guy number two, right out the gate. That's nice. Gotcha. Gushers is a candy nowadays. 
Was it ever not? I feel like Gushers has always been the candy. Alright, get uh, contender number player three in here. There we go. Get my friend here, give him a nice hug. Don't quite know what's going on, I don't quite care. My turn. <laughs> Alright, now who are you? Friendly? No, not friendly. Hmm. Thoughts on candy corn? It's good for the first handful. I have learned over the years to not make the same mistake I always make, which is to buy an entire bag of candy corn and regret 75% of it. So now I just buy a really small bag <laughs> that you can barely do anything with. Ow. Ow. And I have my, like, Jesus Christ. I do my, uh, my two or three handfuls of candy corn for the season and I call it good. No regrets. Hey, quit picking on my friend over there, huh? Yeah, I hear. About one more ought to do it. Does Sacred Flame work on non-human bosses? Kind of. It does damage. It doesn't grab them, though. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with what you got. Alright, come on now. Really appreciate if we could stop hitting me in the frickin' face. And if this had iframes, that would be cool too. Would really like it if this spell had iframes. Alright, got him. And if that doesn't finish him, which it did, then never mind. Okay. Where is he? There you are. Oh, boy, okay. No heals yet again, that's fine. But, you know, working with what we got here. Alright, so how do we bait the jump? We need to bait the jump. No, no. Not the right jump. Try again. Two. There it is. Okay. What's your hottest food take? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. You're asking the wrong guy. Although I did recently try habanero cheese. Very much a fan. Very much a fan. Definitely need more of that. There's the jump. And the grab. <laughs> Do I have any ye of little face plant? Oh, you betcha. Um... I have Dead Island with with bombs only. Um, reason oh, I missed that one. Reason I didn't make that into a actual video is because it is boring as hell. <laughs> I I originally I started with the intention of making it a challenge run, and it was just so boring that I decided we'll just make uh we'll make some content out of it with the footage I've got, and uh, call it a day. Uh, but we got that one. Um, I think shield only for any of the Dark Souls games. I was going to do some of those. Just because I don't really want to uh, <laughs> don't really want to subject myself to that. But I would love to just do some numbers. Um, ow. Good god. Not yet, not yet, come on. So close, baby. Just, let me just let me just have this. Uh, but yeah, no, so we've got some planned, for sure. I'm looking forward to when I have some free time again so I can do more of those. Definitely did not have any uh, free time this past month or two, so we were lucky to get out what we did. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Do the thing. Do the thing. Not that thing. Try again. Not quite. Keep trying. You'll get there. 
You'll get there. There you go. There you go. Ah, we're talking. One more. Hyper focus, let's go. Almost. Almost, come on. Oh, come on, baby, just one more. Just give me that little spin. Oh my god, okay, come on. Oh, we're also low on Estes. Didn't notice that until just now. Gonna need a minute. That'll do. Okay. Come on, give me the jump. Oh, we're getting close, baby, come on. Take it easy. Nope. Nope. That'll do. Come on, get him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Just die. Oh, that was it, too. I needed that one. Shit. Don't you... Don't you do it. There it is. We got him, boys. Whew. We got him. Take your lumps. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay. Who, baby? Yeah, you are correct. The Ashenestis does appear to be a little high. We can tune it down some. I keep expecting to need that much, but uh, so far, no. What's my favorite cheese? As of right now, habanero. Habanero cheese. Definitely a uh, definitely surprise. Came out of nowhere. I've definitely been the guy that's like, I just like American cheese. But, uh, but yeah, no. Good shit. Right, let's turn it down to like five and four. Pretty be careful. Oh, I will be careful. Don't you worry. All right. Where does a guy get some large shards? That would be cool. Will he pop his shard? His soul? Does that answer your question? All right. Have I tried cheddar? Cheddar's fine. Cheddar's fine. Pepper Jack's okay. Pepper Jack is like the in-between, but uh, yeah, habanero is like just spicy enough where I'm like, oh yeah, so. Okay, uh, Vigor 25, that is a solid amount. We have not needed attunement recently. Stamina is not a problem. Vitality is not a problem. And our damage output so far has been pretty good. So let's go ahead and make sure we... Okay, wow, that's, that is one hell of a health bar. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a health bar? <laughs> yeah, that's plenty. I think we can stop on the Vigor. We can start pumping into probably Faith and Intelligence now. I think that would be the new play here. But first... Let's get a few souls here. Was that enough? Nope. I am bad at math. Maybe just one more of these. There we go. Tibbles, welcome. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Enjoy those emotes. All right, let's go. Let's go, Faith. In fact, hold on. Before we do this, I want to see something. I want to see something. The current spell buff is 122. When we add a point of faith, the new spell buff is 123. It does, in fact, increase it. Okay. This is good news. This is good news. <laughs> Forget the glass can. It's time for the iron feather. No, man. Oh, gosh. You've run into a giant flamethrower head on wheels? Yeah, I found that thing. I found that thing. Poke it in the back. Poke it in the back. See what happens. Alright. Cool. Let's keep going. 
if you can get 20 decks, you can put the Sage Ring and have the same effect as that branch. This is true. Is it only 20, though? I feel like it's more than that. I think it'd have to be 30 decks. Unless we get Sage Ring plus one, but that's New Game Plus, isn't it? So that's out. Yeah. And then we can put on the Morian Blade. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That is, uh, that is some end game goals for sure. End game goals for sure. Alright, I think there's large shards lying around here. Excuse me, Tony. Um, I'm pretty sure. Alright. But let's go check. What's up, my boy? Alright, see you later. Nope, that is not what I wanted. And you can burn in hell. Oh, man, yeah, that damage is not... It's not cutting it these days. Ow! Definitely no bueno. However... Yeah. Go, run off the edge. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, with the no scoping over there. Quit. Nope. Don't want it. Unless, no, you're not the injured one. Never mind. <laughs> How's my lemon day going? It's going pretty well. Thank you for asking. Could be going better. <laughs> Try to think about what's actually here. I feel like... Oh my god. <laughs> that fucking guy. <laughs> you, you step on his head once and you never hear the end of it. Right. Well, we got... Oh, get... Oh, okay, well, yeah, that works. <laughs> you coming back together? Good. Take a break. Take a break from rolling all around. Whew. Am I looking forward to Armored Core 6, or is that not really my thing? You know, I'm not sure. I haven't played an Armored Core game since, like, PS2. And that was, like, 20 years ago. Maybe a little less, but, like, at least 15. So it's been a hot minute. Um, that said, the literal text in the trailers has everything to do with burning and fire. So <laughs> I have to at least look at it. It looks very pretty. I... I am eager to see more. Let's put it that way. I am eager to see more. This is probably going to end badly. Or be perfectly fine. Okay. There is some stuff down here. Or maybe not here, but there is in the smoldering lake. We need to get to the smoldering lake. We need to get to the Smoldering Lake, because the Smoldering Lake has large Titanite, for one. And for two, it has a another Pyromancy thing we can use. A Pyromancy Glove, I should say. Thanks, Dark. Dark Lunar Dude, much appreciated. Hope yours are good as well. Um, yeah, so there's large Titanite down there. There's a different Pyromancy casting object we can use. And there was something else down there. I know I wanted it. What was it? Please, please stop. There is something else down there. I'm gonna have to think on it. Oh, there's a ring. There's the next pyromancy ring. Yeah, witch's ring. Thank you. Yes. That is the one. Right, let's just kind of scoot on over here. Uh, gonna give that the nope. Bye, Tony. Hope you find your dad. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, his dad's in there. We already know where he is. Alright, which hair bad? Which hair is bad, but which hair also gives sacred flame thrust damage? AKA, you know actual physical damage so when I'm fighting against things like you know this thing 
and his ilk, uh, we can actually do some damage. So, much needed. A necessary evil. Please don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> Tony, I need you to, like, just, like, literally anywhere else, man. Alright, which, which is ring? Solid. <laughs> meat bag! Goddamn meat bags. Alright. That's taken care of. Let's, uh... Let's take that off for now. Let's just boost our damage without taking extra damage, and we'll just call it good for now. If we need more, we can add more, but... We can pop off this uh, silver snake, but... Alright, now let's see if we can find enough large titanite, eh? Frozen blueberries are fire? Hell yeah, they are. Frozen fruit in general is so freaking good. Mangoes. Frozen mangoes are where it's at. And if you have not tried some, you need to go to your local grocery store and get you a little bag. Because, oh my god. Delicious. Highly worth it. But yeah, blueberries are delicious when they're frozen. Raspberries are pretty damn good. Strawberries are okay if they're small. When they're too big, they just get kind of icy, and that's not exactly what you want. Okay. And we're here. So let's see, what am I looking for? <laughs> I'm here. What am I doing? Finally caught one of my streams. You enjoy the content? Well, thanks. Thanks for saying so. Glad you were able to make it. Mango and general slaps? Hell yeah. Frozen grapes, you know? Oddly enough, I think I've, whenever I've had frozen grapes, I think they've been too frozen. I think that might be my issue. That I turned into, like, just blocks of ice. <laughs> might be, uh, might be worth a shot, though. I always do tend to finish, like, half the bag of grapes before they go bad on me. So that wouldn't be a bad solution. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I don't need a haircut. Or chiropractic. Or anything. Leave me alone. God, they're so, they're so aggressive. I know you're a startup business and you really want to push, but come on, man. Chug. Uh, that's fine. A little toasty down here. Ooh. We're okay. Everything's okay. Got that. Dodge that. Right here. Dodge that. Chug. Should've chugged two. Should've chugged two. Oh, no. Oh, God. Would you please fuck off? Oh, my God. Eh. And we're good. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Alright. Like I said, perfectly fine. Just wants to give me a hug. He's giving my neck a hug. He needs to relax. Oh, would you? Why are you still here? Literally anywhere else would have been fine. Alright, here. You want a hug? Come here. I'll give you hugs. I'll hug you. Come here. You wanted this. Remember that. You asked. Alright. You done? No? One more hug for, for hug for the road? Okay. There you go, pal. Thanks. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> it is amazing how often that happens, where Dark Souls is like, Oh, you wanted comedic relief? We got you. Comedic relief in the form of frustration? Sure thing, fam. Alright, let's see. We got our crossbows blowing up the sky up there. Let's see if I can get my, uh, my friend the worm. Hey, Dune. What's up, man? Your movie was good. Your movie was good. Your book was a little hard. 
All right, let's take a break, shall we? Let's see if we have this uh, lined up properly. I think we do. Yep, we're good. All right. So sippy break. volume down, it's a little loud. Ah, boy. Man, oh man. Shield of Want for more souls? We'll grab it. We'll grab it. I see no reason not to. When you're making videos, do you strictly go off the script, or do you add in some stream audio as well? Uh, it kind of depends. More often than not, my uh, challenge run videos aren't streams, just because I usually don't have time to do a stream. Um, but the, uh, if ever there's, like, a moment where, like, the stream the audio is extremely relevant. Is this not hitting him? Oh, it is hitting him. Okay. Um, yeah, whenever the stream audio is extremely relevant, then I do tend to include it every now and again. But, you know, no guarantees. All right, so that's done. Nice little upgrade there. Let's see if we can swing out here. All right, well, you know, kind of figured. Another large, good. Live in large, live in large. Firebomb Academy alumni shirts soon. They are in the works. The hoodies are done. The shirts I am not quite happy with. The shirts need some work. Um, and I kind of figure that people don't just want hoodies, so I, uh, yeah, we're gonna wait until we get it right. That is not what I was looking for. Where's the shield? Ow. It's right here somewhere. Did I miss it? Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. That might be it right there. <laughs> yep, there it is. Okay. And another large. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Did the Dark Souls 1 dagger run get any further? It did. Um, yeah, I actually restarted it on my own time. Recently finished it, and it will be a video in January. You would love a hoodie? Me too. They are really nice. I really like the way the hoodie turned out. I'm very proud of it. So... Yeah, so, uh, like I said, as far as that stuff goes, uh, I just want to make sure... Ooh, wow, Jesus. Um, I just want to make sure everything is at the highest quality that we can get it. So, expect an announcement about merch sometime in January, probably. Uh, kind of waiting on the... Kind of waiting on the, uh, merchandiser. Merch seller, whatever. Uh, to get back to me on some things. So, we're working on it. There's some more large in, uh, in Horus Arena. Oh... That would be good. You need more hoodies? Dude, same. Same. Are you summoning Cornix for the drip unlock? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no. Super excited to see the dagger run? Yeah, me too. There's merch with the hoodie now? Not yet. Not yet. It is in the works. Like I said, the hoodie is done. But I wanted to include... A shirt option as well for people that wanted for people that wanted it um, so we're kind of waiting on that because it would feel kind of silly if I launched a, sh uh, a hoodie and then people bought it and then I was like and here's the shirt a month later and people would be like I spent the money on the hoodie I wish I had known you know so we're gonna burn the shards burn the shards the shards oh yeah the things I just burned yeah 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 we got it I got you. Relax. I got it. We're fine. Everything's good. We're a big old healthy boy. Okay. So, what is left? What am I doing here? Oh, I need to level up my glove. That's what I'm doing. It's someone's birthday. Nice. Happy birthday. Oh, you're not the one I talked to about this. Got my boy here. There you are. Make better. Make better. I doubt there's five large Titanite Shards in Horus' Arena. 
And I don't remember where the ash to buy large shards is. I think it's... God, I don't know. It's been a while. Plans for salt and sack runs? Heck yeah. We gotta do fists. We gotta do magic only. I was gonna do ranged only, but uh, potatoes, or carrots rather, uh, kind of took care of that one, so... Don't need to do that again. Don't need to do that one again. Crystal Sage next? Crystal Sage is dead. We got him. What we do need to do, though, is we do need to do the Cathedral. Do need to try them again. Oh, I think we might be okay. Now look at that spell buff. Eh, it's probably not too much higher. It's probably not too much higher, but we'll see. But, that said, we did also get the, uh, that other ring. Get these out of here. I wouldn't have been carrying those. Yeah, spell was at 125. You know, it's, it's adding up. We're getting there. The ashes in Irithyll? Ugh. Okay, well, there you go. So, yeah, we've got two options. We could go after these boys, which we're going to try, and see if it's any better. And if this doesn't work out, we've got, uh, Master Tony. We've got to upgrade. What are you talking about? It's a plus five. It's a plus five. We got it. You weren't paying attention. How many hoodies will be made? As many as are necessary. The way they do it, which I wholeheartedly approve of, um, is they basically... It'll we'll run a campaign. You'll place orders for about two weeks. And then uh, once those two weeks are up, as many orders came in is how many they make all in one big batch. Um, which is better one because it just bam they all pop out and that way it's not like I have to worry about it um, it's just like it all goes out and if there's any issues they I know all in one go uh, but also it's really nice because it's uh, better it's better environmentally you know um, less less waste less nonsense that kind of thing less carbon footprint all that jazz alright see if I can all right, well, not the right one. That's a, a fine start. And now it's Tall Boy. Let's see if we can kill a Tall Boy one go. Uh, we can. Hey! That's what we like to see. Okay. Hopefully that means we can actually kill the, uh, the problematic Tall Boys, the ones with the curse as well. Can't kill the big guys yet, though. Eh, eh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Appealing to FOMO? Yeah, no, we, we're trying to avoid that. We don't want to do that. There will be... There is no limit to the number of hoodies that I am making. If 100 people buy hoodies, then 100 hoodies will be made. You want a hoodie? You gonna get a hoodie. I got you. We try to avoid being shitty on this channel, <laughs> if at all possible. Ow! We already deal with enough shit as it is. I wish I wish I didn't have to subject you guys to other things that are kind of crummy, like ads and such. But, uh, you know, gotta support the family. So, we do what we can. But I try to keep it as... Try to keep it as friendly as possible, you know. No gambling ads, anything like that. Life is stressful as it is. You guys don't need any more stress. We all go to YouTube to release. To escape. Dang it. Why are you here? Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Focus, Lemon. Focus. Focus. Hit the right guy for once. There we go. There we go. Is it Pope time? No, not yet. Just kind of wiggle worm my way in here. There we go. There is definitely um, a large variety of sizes. Uh, last time I did the shirts, I don't think anyone. There was like it was rare for people to be unable to uh, wear the shirts. They they do come in large sizes and small sizes and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, well represented. We should, we should be okay. I'm gonna top off on this. 
Oh, you're doing that already, are you? What if I tell you no? That is the wrong guy. Curse you, Sacred Flame. Curse you to hell and back. That's just... Oh, okay. Hi. Yes, that that is the thing that you did. Yeah, let's try and get rid of some of the tall boys. They seem to be our problem children later down the line. Might as well get rid of them now. Get out of here. No means no for Elmo. Ow. Okay, I guess no means maybe. Where the hell... Where is the Pope? <laughs> Please, sir! Uh... Oh, again with the cursing. Quit it. Who else is stopped there? Stop. Ah. And it's the wrong one. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sacred Flame. Thank you, Dark Souls. Ah. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Are we not allowing the use of the learning skulls? I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to, but, you know, we might have to. I don't... We don't need to is the thing. I don't know. We'll get them. We'll get them. YouTube Premium is kind of expensive where I live. Yeah, they need to work on YouTube Premium. I know a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the YouTubers I watch, because I like to keep my finger on the pulse of what's going on, a lot of them have mentioned that the big thing about YouTube Premium is that it's not really offering what we need. Like, yeah, it stops ads, which is great. YouTube Music is fine. Um, the fact that I can watch videos on my phone while my phone is, like, the screen is off is, uh, kind of should just be a feature, if I'm being completely honest, but okay. Thank you, YouTube. Um... But what they really need to do is kind of imitate Twitch as well, in that if you buy a premium for the month, you get a free membership. Like, you know, like you should be able to, like Twitch does, like, oh, you you bought Twitch Prime, like, or you use Amazon Prime or whatever, and bam, here you go. Here's a free Twitch subscription. Um, they, they should also do that for YouTube. If they want to, if they want to compete, if they really want to get rid of, uh, Twitch is a competitor. That's how you do it. You pay for premium whenever you have enough credit on Google Rewards? I did not know that was a thing. That's cool. What's a Google Reward? <laughs> this is news to me. But yeah, no, they just gotta keep uh, keep doing things like that. You know, like, make it... Make it easier for people to... Want your, pe your premium thing, you know? Like... Make me want your service. That's what you need to do. Don't make me want your other services less by, like, hiding it, like, you know, like... Like the whole off-screen thing. That's not okay. That is uh, manufactured discontent in that, you know, it's unnecessary. And so that's not okay. But if they, uh... Manufacture some content, you know? <laughs> Apple owner detected. I can't, I can't get behind Apple either. The fact that just being an Apple owner dramatically increases how much everything costs for you is just upsetting. You know? Like, I buy something on Android, it costs me $10. You buy the exact same thing on Apple, it costs you 15 You know? Or, and same deal with YouTube. Uh, I buy, I send five dollars to gamers weekend he gets like 70 percent of that or whatever uh an apple user sends five dollars to uh, gamers weekend he gets a dollar because apple takes a huge chunk just stuff like that man it's upsetting Ooh, why is everyone healing no 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 hey we're doing good basalt man welcome welcome to the firebomb academy hope you're enjoying your stay enjoy your emotes Okay, well, that went surprisingly well. I'm not sure what changed, but it did. Oh, everyone's doing the, the happy dance. Okay, oh, no, don't do that. Don't. Guys, quit it. I want to live. I just want to poke, a poke. Get it. Come on, get the right one. Yes, okay. The curse is still going down. We're good there. Yes, thank you for that ejection. 
Come on. All right, fine. Just start killing people. I'll do it. I'll work my way in there. Don't think I won't. Stop hitting me. Almost there. Almost there. Just one more good one. Oh, come on. That doesn't count. Serious? Give me the frames. Come on. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh. All right. Sippy break. Pouring out for the boys. Woo. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> Man. Okay. Yeah, I wish this thing had knockback. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Oh, gotta grab the Pope. Gotta grab those uh, those Pope garbs. Okay. Let's go level up. Let's go level up. Real life sippy break. Mm, so good. What about the Rotwood? Yeah, I know, I know, he's there somewhere. <laughs> Actually, with all our health upgrades and such, we should be okay in that regard. Boop, boop. Really, we're three souls away? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Three souls off. Short changing me over here. If that explosion did, if that explosion did splash damage, we would be golden. But it does not, because Papa Miyazaki says no. Alright. Solid play. <laughs> Pope Trip, let's go. Alright, let's go get some much needed revenge. Over here. What's the plan for Aldrich? Hit him until he dies. That's uh that's all I've got. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's relatively weak to fire damage, at least in the first phase, so we should be fine. I think the, uh, this one will be a lot easier if you use a sword to stab the enemies. That's what I'm doing wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. Just didn't, just couldn't remember what the hell it was. Alrighty. Hug the slug. Exactly. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna touch his tail. Just gonna keep touching his tail. Until he dies, you know, as we do. What's the plan for Yorm Phase 2? Uh, we are going to get the White Hair Talisman, which is, can cast Pyromancy, and also does thrust damage when you cast Sacred Flame. So we are going to use that to wish we had never started this run in the first place. And that is what we will do. Uh, I cannot see. Alright, first things first, I need you to move away from those steps, and also, if you could get rid of all these bozos, that would be great. Much obliged, thank you. For that, I poke you. Still obliged, for that, I poke you again. Oh, missed a little bit. Try again. What is happening? Try again. No. And maybe when these come down a little lower. There we go. That'll work. And your hand is completely out of the map. That is not going to happen. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Love the positivity. I'm glad. You know, I try to... Sometimes I can be a little neg negative or a little pessimistic, rather. Um, I try not to be. Nice. Get that hand down here, huh? Oh, sorry. Hold on, wait. I'm sorry, I got a little uh, excited there. Look at that hand. No, we're not going to do the hand? Okay, that's fine. I'll find something else to grab. We don't have to hold hands. It's all right. Uh, but yeah, I, I like to think that I bring a relative amount of positivity to the uh, to the community. I try to, anyway. Lord knows we got enough video angry video game nerds as it is. And I say that with, you know, I say that jokingly, of course. I'm not actually. AVGN is the reason most of us are here today. Ow. Please stop hitting me. 
he had to walk so that we could run. I can touch this? I can. Is that enough? Holy shit, it is. Well, alright then. Bahama Blast! Yeah! That wasn't so bad. That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. Alright. Well, we were a little concerned about that, but it turns out the damage was the only problem. That's all she wrote. We'll get that one free level. Um, What's next, boys? What's next? Gotta do something. I have to think about this. I can't remember where we actually are. Ooh, 200 short. Jump change. I think this is worth 200, yeah? Or is it four? There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Give me my thing. Um, Yeah, let's keep that damage rolling up, shall we? Let's keep that rolling up. Alrighty. Oh, Tony Supreme, you're right. It's Skeletad time. Yeah, old Demon King is not gonna happen. <laughs> you don't have... We're not doing that until we find the, uh... Actually, is that down here? Hold on a minute. I need to... Th use my brain meats for a minute. I think... I think the, uh... White hair charm, whatever the fuck it's called... I think it's here. I think it's here in Smoldering Lake. We need to do that. We definitely need to do that. Absolutely key if we're gonna beat some of the bosses. But where do I go? I can never remember. Oh, doggies. Ah, bad dog. No biscuit. Okay, okay, this looks relatively correct. <laughs> uh, less correct, hold on. We need to get to the po Yeah, here we go, alright, here we go. No, bad, stay away. Touch the wall, don't, stop it. Uh, there's, okay, there's that, hold on. Is this the right thing? Just the pyromancy tome, okay. Down there is not a good time, we don't want to go down there. Down up here is also a bad time. Okay, time out, hello, please stop. Mm-hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to murder you all. That's, didn't want to. Rise up, rat gang, rise up. And you get to live so you can tell your friends what happened here. Okay, let's see. Um, it's around here somewhere. People are saying the lava pool? Is that where it is? Is it down there? Okay. Give me a second. Spirit BH, thank you so much for the tip. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> no. He's caught the plague. Ah. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go back. We'll go back. In the lobby, he says. Okay. But thank you so much for the tip. I will read that later. Because it's too small and there's no good way to do it. Unfortunately. I... I... Oh. I wish it would pop up in chat. That'd be nice. <laughs> if you're feeling... If you're feeling spicy, you're more than welcome to uh, put it in chat there. I'll read it as best I can. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Um... Fire resistant stuff. I got a 4.8. Okay. 13. Not exactly the best. Not exactly rolling in it. And I don't have the fire resistant thing here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Run! Chug. Drink. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that one. <laughs> oh, that is unpleasant. Is there a way to drop in from the ceiling to get a little closer? There might be. Dang. 
Hey, Challenger Andy. Yeah, we flaming, buddy. We're flaming. It is. It is happening over here. Mm -mm -mm. Dark Souls 3 does have flash sweat. I do believe so. Actually, that's a solid point. Time out. That is a solid point, chat. Props to you. Let's figure this out here. Will I ever play Elden Ring? <laughs> you and everybody else. Uh, yes. Um, actually, in January, I'm going to be taking it a little slower. Um, we're not going to be pumping out four videos in one month like we normally do. I'm going to try to tone it back to just one. Not one, two. Um, but with that quote-unquote free time that I will be allegedly finding, um, we are going to be working on the Elden Ring Firebomb only run. So, so yeah, it's we're working on it. What am I doing? <laughs> there it is, 15 hundo. We can manage that, hold on. I've got that float around here somewhere. <coughs> Any plans for for more grime challenge runs? You know, I've actually been playing a bit more grime since that new DLC came out. Very good, by the way. Um, the new weapons and the new bosses are a lot of fun. Oh, he didn't take this. Okay, because he, he doesn't like the dark. Oh, no, right. He's not a lady. <laughs> I forgot you're a weirdo. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. So there is... Uh, I'm still working through the DLC. Still poking around and how it works. But uh, yeah, I would love to do another Grime Challenge run eventually. You're in the middle of a target run. <laughs> you wear a red shirt and see how long until they realize you're not an employee. Please tell me that's actually a thing. <laughs> Please tell me. I would... I would pay to see that. <coughs> oh, hold on. Sippy break, baby. Mm. There we go. Alright. Get that flash sweat. We're good. Make sure I don't have any bone shards or anything silly. Good there, too. Alright, back to it. <laughs> Ew, a woman's book. Pass! This book probably tells me how to feel. Gross. Yuck. <laughs> um, actually, it has some of the strongest spells in the game. Yeah, whatever, nerd. Ew. Yeah. Pyromancy you used to be cool. You guys remember Laurentius? Laurentius was the shit. What happened? How do you ping in chat? I think you just uh, press the at key. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how it works. You're asking the wrong guy. I don't know. I don't know how to technology. You wish Dark Souls 3 had an egg site or egghead thing? <laughs> Do you though? <laughs> Do you actually? <laughs> I don't know. There might be something. There might be something if you really kind of stretch your imagination. <coughs> oh, Lordy, excuse me. How long have we been streaming? <laughs> Are we done? Can I stop now? All right, Flash Sweat, carry me home. Oh, this does nothing. Keep going. Almost there. Double sip. Grab it. Okay. Take me, Sweet Fire. Take me away. All right, we got it. Good job, chat. You get a thumbs up for that one. You did it. This happened because of you. Now get rid of this flash sweat. <laughs> get the shit out of here. Okay, so. Little known fact. First off, White Hair Talisman uh, apparently requires a lot of faith. We're going to have to work on that. Um, but, as you can see, physical damage. Right? Pyromancy Flame, Strict Fire. White Hair Talisman, physical damage. When you use Sacred Fire, or Flame, or whatever the hell this thing's called, when you use that with the White Hair Talisman, it does partly physical damage. So, first things first. 
we need to go kill Papa Bone Man. Let's start there. We're going to go kill Papa Bone Man. We're going to take his souls. We're going to put them all into faith. And then we're going to try to figure out how to level up the white hair thing. And if we can do that... Where the hell am I? <laughs> and if we can do that, uh, then we might... Keyword, might actually, you know, try to fight the Demon King. But not before. Definitely not before. Is this it? Is this the one I want? <coughs> mm -mm -mm. White hair talisman is bugged. If your intelligence is lower than your faith, it doesn't apply. If your intelligence is lower than your faith, it doesn't apply. Really? So you gotta keep it even, then. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well, we will, uh, we will see. We will see what happens. Sounds like we're in for a good time. Why didn't they fix that? <laughs> they did so many patches in this game, why wouldn't they fix that? That yeah, doesn't sound right. Later, Water Flame. Have a good night. Get some sleep. See you next year. Woo. Alrighty. Excuse me, out of the way. How's the luck been? Luck has been good, actually. We are, uh, we are kicking ass and taking names. Really weird. Kinda, kinda confusing and scared. <laughs> From stuff doesn't fix what needs fixing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They really don't. How's Elden Ring's, uh, cooperative going, by the way? <laughs> is it still a complete mess? Do you still need the mod to even play cooperatively? I haven't heard anything. Oh, we already killed the Pope. <laughs> Pope's, Pope's dead. Hate to say it. Alright, Tony. Alright, Tony. How long have we been streaming? Four hours. Still going. This is gonna hurt me. Yep, that was, that was, okay. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea, but I did that, and it happened, okay. <coughs> Ooh, okay. Co-op is trash without the mod. Yep. Yep. Thumbs up from Soft, you're doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> Oh, boy. Man. What's wrong with it? Uh, it disconnects constantly. Uh, I will be playing with a friend in the middle of running around, and they will just get disconnected. Every time. We are... I have tried playing with my wife, which means that we are using the same fiber wire internet connection. We are using the same connection. We are literally together. It is... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. It is not an internet service provider's fault. Uh, can confirm. But, uh, yeah, no. Despite that, uh, we get kicked out of co-op every time. Literally unplayable. Cannot play. Co-op sucks on console, too. Well, yeah, there you go. So. Am you are you late to the stream? Eh, it was only by four hours, you know. Just a little bit. I really wanted those 117 souls. <laughs> Elden Ring seamless co-op mod? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what you want. It lets you ride horses together. Which, I mean, like... Yeah, why wouldn't it? <laughs> if it didn't, what's wrong with you? Okay, Tony. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what we're working with here. Seems to be... Doing good. <coughs> Not seeming to have any issues here. Aside from Tony being Tony, trying to push me into the fog a little bit. Why are you clambering? Quit your. Quit your clambering. No. Alright. You get everyone gets one. Now give me your banklet. No? Okay. 
Play hard to get. I see. Alright, he's playing hard to get. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did not see that one. There we go. A little close for comfort, but we're gonna try. Oh, okay. Alright. What's happening? Is this a sword? Are you making a sword? This does not appear to be a sword. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, you made friends! That's... I have never seen that. Okay. <laughs> There's so many! Just gonna... Alright, I was going to ignore you. Now I don't have to. This is your fault. Oh god, a bone wheel! He can summon bone wheels? Wait, what? <laughs> when did this happen? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, Tony. I need you to fucking calm it a little bit. Just, just like a smidge. Get your little fucking hand down here. You're embarrassing me in front of the friends. Dad, you're embarrassing me. What are you doing? Again, man. What? Oh, God. What is happening? I can't see. Just want the sword. Hey, well, something happened. Put your little hand down. Put it somewhere I can reach it. Like just right here. There you go. That's a spirit. Okay, not. Uh. He's being a goddamn asshole. Oh, are you serious? Okay. <laughs> you have one job. Just keep it down. Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh, you're kidding me. I don't know what you're doing over there, and I don't care. There we go, finally. Jesus, no, don't you dare pull me into the dark! No! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Tony, Tony, I killed your brother. You need to let it go. Let it go, bud. Okay. Woo! Okay, first try. <laughs> Why exactly is his name Tony? Because it was a offhand joke that had no purpose turning into a long-running joke, and it just did. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I don't know. It's just part of the channel lore. You just have to accept it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> When is your next Elden Ring run? When is my first Elden Ring run? And, uh... Maybe January... Maybe, if you're lucky. I don't know. We, I, I'm, I have to kill all 255 bosses. It's gonna take a while. All right, you're gonna have to. <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait. Okay. Are you the one? You are. Twinkling. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, we're, we're gonna figure that out later. Um, anyway. Keep the faith. I'm gonna just, we're gonna work our way up anyway, it looks like. We got some time. Who's this? Wolnir? Yeah, break that. <laughs> Your friend Tony really loves the shirt? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad that he sees the, <laughs> that he sees the humor in it. Belated present from the holidays. Uh, well, the belated present is actually immolation only. A hundred percent immolation, a hundred percent only. I should I should clarify that. A lot of people are like, "Hey, yeah, if I already did it." It's like, "Yeah, he did. I just did it different, and it's it's bad. It's really bad." Uh, but yeah, that is the belated Christmas present that I failed to get to you guys today, or tomorrow rather. But uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, oh, I didn't realize how much souls I had. Shit. Um, but yeah, we'll get it out there. 
we'll get it out there. We got quite a bit of Dark Souls content coming down the line, so don't you worry. Is it just pots or any throwable? Just pots. Uh, so ritual pots, fire bombs. I haven't actually used any of the incense stuff yet. I have no idea what it actually is. Once I play around with it, I will know then if it's allowed or not. Time will tell. All right, what are we doing here? Um, High Lord Wolnir, that's what we want. Okay. <clears throat> Papa Bone might actually be hard this time. Papa Bone's dead. He did. Should make a Christmas sweater with a Tony and a Christmas hat? <laughs> no. Not this year. We do have merch coming down the line, but the uh, the t-shirt is still in progress. The hoodie's done, but the, the t-shirt isn't to my liking, so... That'll hopefully be coming out January at some point as well. Didn't know that Secret Flame did damage to bosses? Secret Flame does damage to a lot of things. It is, uh... Shocking. I am... And this run is going way farther than I ever expected it to, so this is definitely going to be a video at some point. For sure. Now we just need to run from the dog! Deacons is worth more, more than Walnir. Not a good look. <laughs> Don't you do it. You stay there. Sit, boo-boo, sit! Sit, boo-boo, sit! Woo! Go to hell! Uh, you're gonna grab me through that. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta get away from you. <laughs> okay. Any picture leaks for the hoodie? Uh, there was a design. Not the actual hoodies themselves, but there was a design leaked in the Discord. So, if you wanna know what it looks like and how hyped up you should be, you gotta join the Discord. I forget where I put it. I think I put it in the announcements. That sounds about right. That sounds like something I would do. Please don't hit, please don't hit, please don't hit. Oh, large shards. Okay, alright. Large shard, good. Me like large shard. <laughs> Just woke up to this beautiful stream. What's happening? <laughs> I don't even know. I've been here for almost five hours and I don't know. <laughs> I'm grabbing people, telling them how much I, enjoy, I appreciate them. And then they just burst into flame and die, and it's kind of really starting to make me wonder if it's just me. I'm starting to worry it's just me. Does this area have Titanite? I don't know. No, there's Doris down there doing her thing. No, no. Please stop. That is a lot of damage. There's a large shard. All right. We just need a few more large shards. About four? Maybe? I feel like four. If we can do that, then we'll be out of large shard territory and we'll be into the chunks. <laughs> You're just too hot for them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the amount of people that are just like, your voice is hot. I'm just like, I've never seen you before. <laughs> you, you, you don't know what I look like. <laughs> I worry. You worry me. Alright, moving on. He's becoming self-aware. <laughs> this is a different twist on the old Joy Buzzer prank. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more violent, honestly. For the new age, you understand. Yorm is entirely immune to fire damage, correct. But, uh, yeah, that's why I have the physical fire damage. It's all I've got. It's all I've got! Entirely necessary, unfortunately. Like I said, I think I said it earlier, it's a necessary evil. It's just something that we're gonna have to do if we, uh, have any intention of completing the run. Bye, DJ! Thanks for stopping by. You were here for pretty much the entire stream, man, so... Don't... No apologies necessary. And they wouldn't be anyway, but you know what I mean. 
honestly, I think what we're going to do... What time is it? Probably just going to get a little bit further. We're going to get a little bit further. And then from there, I think there might be some shards over here. From there, we're going to... I need to get some lunch because I am freaking starving at this point. Um... Hey, Bob, how's the kids? Um, but yeah, we're gonna pause this madness, get some lunch, everyone take a five minute break, make some lunch, and then uh, we'll have uh, the lemon sour hour. Patent, patent pending. Um, where we just kind of relax, we're just gonna do some just chatting, I'll throw on some like, I don't know, we'll throw on a Yule log, we'll throw on a Yule log or something. <laughs> Those are probably all copyright, we probably can't do that. Um, we'll throw something out in the background, just something quiet, and just kind of relax, have some lunch together. Let me answer some some Q and A, you know, round off the year nice. Pontiff is not a Tony, no. Pontiff is not a Tony. <laughs> I need to get some drinks. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a thing. That's for sure. I will make myself a nice sandwich, don't you worry. We'll find something good. Something that's not too, like, loud. I don't want you guys to be... You, you guys are excited enough whenever I do things as it is. I don't need you guys getting excited about the ASMR stream. Do I need... Grey Rat? I do not. We don't need Grey Rat. Let that boy rest. Let that boy rest. The walls go back? Why? Why, though? I know the doggo is back. <laughs> I don't want to mess with the doggo. Little Inferno has a Yule Log. Oh, they... Has a new... Really? Does it? Oh, that's nice. God, I haven't played that game since I 100%ed it. I played that game a lot when it... When I... When I got my hands on it, though. It was fun. That's real nice of it. That's what we call a quality update. Please stop biting me. For the love of... Okay. <laughs> Big tight night ash. Oh, really? Shit. Where's that at? Where is that? Is it up the stairs? Is that where it is? Direct me. I'm listening. I'm paying attention now. You have my attention. Also, hi, Jonathan. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Enjoy those emotes and wallpapers. Yeah, the dogs are kind of a pain for this run. Not looking forward to fighting uh, Sif 2.0 and the DLC. That's going to be bad. You walk down a hallway just to find that the broom is talking backwards. There's a door it opens up to a window or something. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. <laughs> Welcome to the scary door. Alright. Doggo is back again. Yeah, I know there's the excrement ashes. I'm aware of those, but those don't help us. Like, at all. Opposite to stairs. Right where Secrets Pot is? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll try. We're gonna try for it. Why is everyone suddenly doing so much damage? What is happening? Oh! What am I wearing? <laughs> I'm not wearing my armor. That's what's happening. Silly lemon. Oops, took that one off. That's a little bit better. Soup. Okay. So. Large shard. Large shard. Large shard. <sighs> I think it's up these stairs if memory serves. I think that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Large shards do definitely not come from the <laughs> from the poop. <laughs> that one I can confirm. Also, Sir Chairman Meow, welcome to the Firebomb Academy. 
Enjoy your stay. Have some fun with them emotes. Grab a wallpaper while you're here. Which reminds me, once again, I, I said it at the beginning of the stream, I will make a point of it. Um, maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't things up here. Oh, the Leo Ring's up here. Okay. Xerxes, thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. That'll be something else we do <clears throat> during the uh, during the lunch break. We're gonna we're gonna read all those tips that I missed. Gotta see what those are. Uh, but yeah, in case you missed it during the beginning of the stream, if you are a new member or an old member, hello. Um, I do plan on taking a lot of the thumbnail art that my thumbnail artist has been so gracious to grace us with. Uh, we will be making those into some wallpapers for you all because there were some pretty epic ones that I would love for you all to have so if you uh, if you are a member or a patreon supporter or any of that good news you've got some backlog themed wallpaper heading your way both for the phone and for your computer and I guess if you printed it out you could put it on your wall <laughs> maybe not that one But you're picking up what I'm putting down. Alright, well, we unlocked a shortcut, so I mean, there's that. The hell am I? The hell am I? Ashes are in the sewer room. In that case, those are not the ashes we need. Those ashes do not have large titanite. This much, I am certain. I know we all like poop, but we don't, we're not, we're not touching it, okay? I know, I know. I know, but don't do it. You guys remember Harvey? Don't be like Harvey. Put it down. <laughs> okay, anyway. Cut the walls just plastered with thumbnails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so back down the shortcut. The ashes I need are past Pontiff. I kind of figured. How many? Out of curiosity, how much large shard do I have? Four. There's probably like one, maybe two. Oh, there's one. Oh shit. Well, hey, if there's one down by Horus, then we're good. Have to go back for that. I will uh, do that before we get to Pontiff. Just, uh, just give me a minute. Give me a hot second here. I just need to get the hell out of here and open up a shortcut and then we can go. Hey, Bobbert! <laughs> Easterners on the way to Eldritch. That's the ones. That's the one I wanted. Thank you. Pizcrow! Hello and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy your emotes and welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Oh, God! <laughs> I heard thumbnails and imagine a wall covered in fingernails. Don't don't do that. <laughs> don't don't do that. Don't don't put that image in my face. I like sleep. All right, doggo, you can have this. Just for you though, okay? Go on now. All right. Well, now you're just making me sad. <laughs> there we go. Well, hello there. Oh man. <clears throat> Ooh. Hey, Kendra, how's it going? Man, all my mods have popped by today. I should do six-hour streams more often. Kendra, I answered our question. Sacred Flame does, in fact, do damage to bosses when it doesn't grab. And it works real good. Like, upsettingly so. Alright, anyway. Moving on. Let's see here. Uh, we need to go to somewhere. Where's the best place for that? What am I thinking? What am I trying to do? You go... Not this one. This one. This is the good one. Okay. <laughs> You're proud of me for using the Belvine? Hey, I mean, you, you, you kind of let me have it uh, last time I didn't, so I... Uh, <laughs> It was definitely going to be part of the strategy. There was no way I was not going to. 
thank you for thank you for hiding my butt and making me realize the good things this run would not be possible without that bell vine so oh god four hours now respect are we only at four no we gotta be at four and a half by now yeah four and a half we're coming up on five baby end of the year stream we're going big we're going strong Going for five, possibly six, depending on how long my voice lasts, we will see. Got fire clutch and both power rings? Sure do. Sure do. I don't keep it equipped because we haven't really needed the damage, if I'm being honest. But I do have the clutch ring. I just want the... the okay, I guess I didn't want those. What about... Yeah, there we go, alright. One more for good measure. Okay. You know, I've got homeward bones. Oh, hey, I have that too. Okay, we gotta use that. I've got homeward bones. Take me home. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Which all quest lines are we doing? None of them. <laughs> what do you take me for? Some kind of Dark Souls enjoyer? Okay. Increase that. And we're good there. You won't take either of these, will you? That one is for ladies. This one is for ladies, too. Alright then. Anyway, uh, we can burn a thing for the Estus Flask. Do that. I think the lizard might have dropped a chunk. The problem with the lizards is that they are um, kind of not easy to kill with Sacred Flame. So, kind of avoiding them if at all possible. It's also why we have no Twinkling Titanite for the, uh, for the white hair charm, which is kind of a problem. Still working on that one. Figure it out later. Okay, where are we going? Church of Yorshka. Let's go get our boys. Too serious this questline for the silver cat ring? I don't need no silver cat ring. I don't need it. Kind of useless in this game. I mean, it's great when you're being chased or when you're just kind of running around being a complete madman. Some of my favorite Dark Souls 2 moments were definitely equipping the Silver Cat Ring and going to the Bell Keeper area majig. Um, people will chase you up and down <laughs> that stupid pit over and over again, falling through it, and just taking gravity damage the entire time. But you just put on the ring, you're like, nah, that's fine. It's a good time. Don't hit me. All right, we're good. All right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. I'll I'll consider it. <laughs> I'll consider it. Nope. And question on everyone's mind. Well, I gotta hit him first. Okay. It does damage. No grab. I can work with that. I can work with this. Uh, kinda. Kinda work with this. Alright, can't really work with this. <laughs> Pontiff! <laughs> need you to... Need you to calm it down with those balls to the wall. Hits there, man. Okay. Nope, it's fine. Okay. So this is gonna be a problem. Uh... <laughs> There's three free twinkling titanites if you can tree jump in fire link um we can but the problem is is that correct me if i'm wrong aren't those in crystal lizards because if they are then that's kind of a no-go kind of a no-go there's actually like we would have more than enough twinkling titanite if i could actually kill the damn lizards but they're tiny and which means i can't grab them and they only take like 10 damage it makes me mad it's kind of a problem how long are we predicting Sully will take? I don't know. I don't know. Can you grab his clone? I sincerely doubt you can grab his clone if you can't grab him. So good first try. We learned that it does not grab. Exactly. Are we allowed to parry? Yeah, sure, why not? Just a matter of can I parry? And the answer is nope. If I'm gonna parry, I need a buckler. I am. I need those extra iframes. It's just, just the way of it. I will parry the world, but god damn it, give me a buckler. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay, alright. Alright, so none of these animations are good. That's what I'm getting from this. Hey, Jack. Welcome to Firebomb Academy. That's a good one. I like that one. Dodge it. Okay, alright. What? Oh, I drank the wrong Estus. <laughs> I was wondering what happened there. Okay. That's a decent one. Lawnmower is a bad time. Do not get in the way of the lawnmower. Got it. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Don't do it. I forgot that running is a strategy. We need to do that. We need to do that. Can you trade some items with the bird for twinkling? Probably. 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 People are suggesting take up the sword ring instead of using the fire clutch ring. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, considering I doubt we're going to be at max health for, for very much of this fight. So, okay, alright. <laughs> I hit a guy with Sacred Flame in PvP once. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> cool story. Tell it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shitting on you. Oh, God. Yeah, no, it com Lemon comes from an old gamer tag. I used to be called Submerged Lemon. But that does not roll off the tongue. So, Lemon it is. Allegedly, there are people that are actually called Lemon, though. And have told me as such. To which I give the big old thumbs up. It's a pretty cool name. Ow! My, my face. Okay, alright. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You, you got something a little longer? Just, just, just like a little, a little bit more of a wind-up, you know, just a little something. Alright, don't play games with me. Alright, good, yep, okay. What is this? <laughs> yes, thank you, okay. Huh. Ha. Huh. okay, well... That's a thing. Large Lotus Shield and Prism Stone give you twinkling. That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, let's see. Um, Let us see here. That, uh, that's a buckler. That'll do. Get rid of that. All right, chat, just for you. I'm going to embarrass myself just for you. We're going to try. It's going to be bad, but we're going to try. Go, baby, go. 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 Go, baby, go. All right. <laughs> Lemon, you've inspired me. You know, when people say that, it's always for something bad. It's always like, Lemon, I watched your firebomb run and I got inspired. Please don't say that out loud. <laughs> Lemon, you made me want to play Dark Souls. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't apologize enough. <laughs> Lemon, you got me into challenge runs. No, don't do that to yourself, please. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, boy. That's a bummer. Has Raiden or Shadow Legends ever tried to give me a sponsor? Every week. Every fucking week. Literally every week. I have told them no. I have told them to kindly fuck off. I have, I have had fun with it and told them, yeah, sure, absolutely. Send me ten grand. They keep coming back. <laughs> They need to stop. <laughs> they need to know when no means no. You ever had that relationship where someone just doesn't get it and like they, they don't know that no means no? That's raid. That is raid. Level up adaptability. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Take your lumps. Oh, it's so slow without the bell vine though. Oh. Alright, hold on. Come on. You, you have to actually bounce off my shield if you're going to do this. What's happening? Please, please, stop. Okay, let's try again. Come here. Do the swing. 
What? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are they all partial parries? I am not looking forward to the dagger run in this game. Uh. <laughs> Parrying Pontiff is easy. Yes, thank you, chat. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, ra the raid... Let me, let me put... Yeah, I did see Joe Cat's video response. That is the way to do it. Fucking chef's kiss. So good. I hope they actually try to do something for him. I, I really hope they try. <laughs> just just to see his next response. <laughs> but uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, no. Raid is, raid is garbage, man. It's garbage. Like, don't get me wrong. I've gotten some shady advertisers before, but they are definitely the worst. And their persistence is what makes it, like, even... Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Have I tried to unkindly tell them to fuck off? I have. <laughs> I certainly have. And it, uh... Yeah, it doesn't doesn't help. It doesn't help. They just send a they just send a new errand boy to to ask questions. It's just all right. So I can do that, but the the switch I'm just not good enough to switch out like that. So it was a nice idea, chat. It's cool. We did it once. No, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it again though. So we're just gonna have to let that lie. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, you just warped me. Cool. Thank you, Pontiff. Boy, I can't wait until there's two of you. That's gonna be real fun. Oh my god. Nope. Stop. The dancer already does this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lemon having difficulty in a run where you just have to touch things. <laughs> no, that was the immolation run. And that was difficult for a completely different reason. You will see in about a week or two. You will see in about a week or two. Man, yeah, I am I am halfway through writing that script, and I'm already being... Triggered is the wrong word, but I'm getting flashbacks. You know? <laughs> like, I made it through the run, took a week off, and then started writing the script, and I had to stop halfway through. <laughs> it's, just, it's not a good... It's not a good sign. Tristan, hey, you also inspired me to play both salt games? I'm glad. And I hope you enjoyed those. Because those are like, you know, hidden gems that people ought to appreciate. I... I crave dead. I want to dead. <laughs> please just... Please just let me hit you. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna hug you. Good job. You did good. Here, take a lump. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Ah, oh, fuck you. Alright. And I rolled too early, and now I'm rolling too late, and rolling too much, and... <laughs> You'll play Sacrifice if it comes to, screen to stream? I do not blame you. I don't blame you. You know? For me, it was kind of one of the, like... I don't have a choice kind of deals, you know, like, I don't mean to humble brag over here, but I kind of am, like, the biggest salt creator, or for the first one, anyway. I don't know about salt 2. Maybe I am for salt 2 now? I don't even know. I haven't checked. But I, I'm like, it's, it, alright, to unhumble brag myself here, it is what made my channel. Like, it's what got me off the ground. So it would have been a disservice to not play the second one as soon as it was out. So, you know. Normally I wouldn't pay money on Epic Games, but I had to get it. And I can say with certainty that when it comes out on Steam, if you like Dark Souls and you like Monster Hunter and you want to see a combination of the two, you owe yourself to get it. Because it is a damn fine game. And very fun. The quality of life balances have been really, really welcome. Very good stuff. Pretty much anything that was a complaint got addressed, which is awesome. Especially with the new DLC that came out. It's just been... I I don't know. I think they might have done it right, honestly. Like, 
they got all the uh, hiccups out of the way with Epic Game Store, and now they just got this perfect ready-to-go game, ready to go as soon as Steam lets them put it on there. Kind of a... Kind of a good idea. Don't you do it. You stay over there. And we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that attack. You're welcome to do that more often. That wouldn't be good too if I was actually near you. Oh, don't like this one though. Wow, how did you miss? <laughs> how did you miss? I was three feet from you! Ah, there. There it is. <laughs> There's the karma. Ow. Wait, I need Baja Blast! Please stop. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Two, two, two. That's unfortunate. Have I tried using fire bombs? I have. They work well. <laughs> Casually explaining a game while fighting Pontiff. You know, it seems like I do better when I'm not paying attention. Seems to be the case. Is the wasp ring any good for this run? Well, normally I'd tell you no. Normally I would say no. Because the wiki said no. But the wiki also said that the sword run, or sword run, the sword ring doesn't work for it either. And we disproved the hell out of that. So maybe, because this attack does count as a critical. So maybe. Maybe. Found the channel about a month ago, and now you're my favorite second monitor creator. Fuck yeah! That's my favorite. Oh, I love when I'm second monitor material, seriously. No greater compliment. Thank you for saying so. Because, like, no one wants to watch this. <laughs> no one wants to watch this. Let's be real. What happened there? I got, like, ten damage? Oh, and I missed my opening? Shit. Alright, well, we gotta get good at dodging, and this is, this is the, uh... There you go, that'll work. Yeah, kind of. This is, uh... Abyss Watchers all over again. Gotta... Play nice until he gives us the right animation. I'm running away! Okay. Nice try! Why must you... Please stop. I don't wanna... I don't wanna play. I don't wanna play. You're mean. I'm taking my ball. I'm going home. Unless you do that, in which case I will gladly play. And now I'm running away. <laughs> Run away! Out of stamina! And... too far. Oh, no we're not. Too slow, though. I'm learning. Starting to believe. Slowly. We're gonna get there. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get there. <laughs> so you're saying there's hope. I am saying there's hope. I am saying that we will get there. Eventually. What are we gonna do for the soul of Cinder? Probably grab his face and tell him how much I love him and then make him explode and die like everything else I love, apparently. Everything around me I love is dying! Anyway, can you bait a dash and roll through him? I don't know. That sounds hard. Why would I subject myself to this? For reasons. For the almighty content machine, my duh. But also, no, I was actually just really curious. I was really curious, you know? Demon Prince says hi. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> um, we uh, we have a strategy for that, but it is nowhere near done. We uh, that's some end game. Uh oh. Wham. Yeah, we have a uh, there's the end game build. Will be able to do damage to that. That's all I can really promise. <laughs> I can't actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually swear that we'll actually get anything done. It'll be easy. It might be, um, it might be impossible. Like, this might turn into one of those runs where, like, I have to get as much 
FP as possible. I have to get as much Ashen Estus as possible, and even then, it might not be enough. We'll do math. We will do math when we get to that point. But, uh, but until then, we're not going to worry about it. What's the plan for Name's King? Same thing as always. Grab his face. Tell him I love him. Watch him explode. <laughs> you're, you're probably sensing a trend. <laughs> we are very much taking the Monster Hunter approach of hit it until it dies. That is, uh, is the only strategy I have, and I'm sticking to it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You guys worry too much. It's going to be fine. Ow. No, you got to do the, the sword with the, the fire slam. Can you do the... Hello? Yeah, that's the one. Well, eh, not really. Eh, yeah, try again. Well, that was cute. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Came in there a little too early. That's okay, though. Give me them cheeks, boy. Give me them cheeks. Come on now. Okay, okay, fine. You can have them. You can keep the cheeks. Ah. Okay. In math, we trust. <laughs> In math, we trust because that means that we can stop doing the thing we're doing and we can say it's impossible. Let's move on. That's what. That's the beauty of math. Spiky boy, love your videos. When I found your channel, I binged all of your videos within a week. Oh God. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, are you okay? It's almost five hours, go eat something? We will, we will. When we hit the hour mark, in about three minutes. That should be when I'm about out of my tea, at which point I will need to go get some water, I will go get a sandwich, and then we will have a sour hour with lemon. And it will be a good time. I am looking forward to it. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Siren, I, I, I see Kendra. I see you dropping shade over there. Okay. Let's just say that that mod button there is a privilege. Okay. <laughs> no, it's true. I am a bit of a coward when it comes to Sekiro. I just I don't like. Katanas, man. I don't like katanas. And when you tell me that's the only weapon I can use and also I need to play DDR at the same time, it's just like, how? <laughs> Papa Miyazaki, why would you do this to me? And then he laughs and he says, get good scrub. And then, you know, that's it. That's what happens. Ah. Well, thanks for the slam. Come on and slam. And run away. Run away like a coward. Nope. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not quite right. I hate that move so much. Hey, it's Jack again. Question for your favorite child: What could you physically own one? What? What is? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is that amalgam of words? I see it now. If I could own one weapon, what would it be? What happened? Where did my where did my damage go? Um, that is a good question. The Bloodborne weapons are super cool, and the people that have made the real life versions of them should be commended because that is pretty freaking neato. That said, I don't think I'd ever want one of those. Um, the coolest weapon that would just like kind of like look good on my wall, like next to my shield and helmet would uh, probably be like the Astora straight sword. I'd like that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I feel like the obvious answer is the Moonlight great sword, and honestly, I'm just not really that big a fan of it. It's just a blue sword. It's just a blue clear sword. So, like, you know, that's fine. Okay. Well, you need to like cool it over there. Give me the slam. There it is. Just said ask. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
I'd have to think about it. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, thinking is not my strong suit at the current time. Just kind of getting knocked about over here. Haha! Do the slam! I asked nicely. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why must you? Why must you punish? Fine, I'm just gonna backstep. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, that's enough of that. Oh! Christ! Have I been sitting here for five hours? Oh god! The giant pizza cutter? Nah, nah. A pyromancy flame would be cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Alright. Everybody, take five. Alrighty? Take five. What we're gonna do... Where's a... Let me ask you this. Where's a nice, comfortable place for us to sit? You guys think about that. Take five. Grab yourself some food if you haven't done so. Grab yourself a Bev if you don't have one. We're gonna all have a sippy break. We're all gonna have a sippy break. We're all just gonna kind of chat for a little bit for as long as my uh, my voice lasts, um, and then uh, yeah, we're just, and if you think of a place somewhere in Dark Souls Three that is uh, pretty relaxing, just like a bonfire, just something nice that doesn't have a whole lot of like ambiance going in the background, that'd be good. That'd be good. Majula, wrong game. <laughs> wrong game. Dark Souls Three. I don't think I have Dark Souls 2 installed. After I beat the emulation run, I immediately uninstalled it. So, alright. I'm gonna take five minutes. Uh, go grab your Restus. Go grab some food. See you soon.
Mm-hmm. Okay. So then. Ah. How are we all doing? Everyone get their bev of choice? Everyone got a sippy break ready? I certainly hope so. Um, I choked down a sandwich, so you guys won't have to listen to me chew anything too much. I did bring down a little extra food just in case, but, uh, but yeah, no, we're, <laughs> yeah, no chewing ASMR if I can help it. Um, probably some drinking ASMR though, sorry. Might hear a few gulps here and there. Anywho, uh, where are we going? Did you guys decide where a nice, comfortable place to go would be? I hope you pick somewhere nice. Foot of the high wall or halfway fortress? Hmm. This one here, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. It's the halfway fortress. Oh, this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got a cup of tea. Nice. Good choice. Good choice. The bonfire beside the bridge to the cold lands. Good choices. Good choices. <laughs> the painted world. Sister Frida's boss room. I don't have these places, guys. <laughs> bonfire beside of Irithil before the dog is pretty. It is, Jack. You are absolutely correct. Mm, Sigil, been playing Dark Souls 3 The Convergence with a bomb-focused run, trying to finally graduate from the Firebomb Academy. Good luck. I've heard good things. I have heard good things. Alright, let's do this. Um, the few suggestions we've gotten so far. Let's, uh, let's poke around. Let's see what we've got going on here. And also, of course, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those donations. Much appreciated. Okay, let's see here. So we got this one. That does feel pretty good, guys. I mean, it is like, you know, December 30th, the end of the year. It's really pretty out there. If there's a spot where the wind doesn't hit us. Yeah, right there's pretty good. You know, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get our good costume on and we'll uh, just go from there. Let's see. Gotta make sure we dress warm. It's important. That'll do. The drain stuff might be our best bet for dressing, dressing appropriately. As for a helmet. Yeah, that's fine. You know. <laughs> it's like my regular helmet, except the, the lid is up instead. I like that. Alright. Cool. Have a sit. Ah. <sighs> you know what? Let's see if we can do this even better. Let's see if we can do this even better. Oh, would you look at that? We can. <laughs> Beautiful. You gotta love it. Lint Waffles. Horrifying name. Welcome to the welcome to the party. <laughs> welcome to the party. Alrighty. So, everybody. First things first, I need to do a quick check on something. Apologize. There were several tips given throughout the stream here, and I feel bad that I wasn't able to actually see them. I'm gonna try and pull them up if I can. I'm gonna try my best, but I don't... I make no guarantees. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Recent events... Survey says, uh, there is some things here. Okay, here we go. So, it was, uh, Silver 13. So just wanted to thank me for all the amazing content throughout the year. Looking forward to whatever we'll be doing next year. Very kind of them. Project Tristan gave us the Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Much appreciated there as well. Satan's PR department had roasted beef jerky, tenderized too. Keep up the good work. Mr. Lemon Man, you're amazing. I'm loving every moment. First stream, but you deserve the world. I do not deserve the world, but thank you. Spirit BH had a great job, great show. Keep it up. All right, will do, my friend. 
And Xerxes, you might want to get the Wish Tree branches of staff way ahead of you there, buddy. But thank you for the advice. Much appreciated. Okay, we are all caught up on all that. Very good. Very good. Alrighty. So, let's just kind of... Kind of hard to do with one hand. I like that. Now then. <sighs> so how did we get this far? <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. I don't know. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I don't know how we got here. No. Um... Yeah, no, I don't know. It's, uh, through luck, persistence, and patience. You know, the old adages of, uh, the core tenets of the Academy, as per usual. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it is a thing, man. I don't know. Like most, like most of the challenge runs that I look at, before I dive in, I always like to look at the math. And this math looked fucking weird. So I was Intrigued is like putting it lightly. I was just like, it does what? And you do what? And how? What? And so I had to know. And once I found out, once I found out that you could uh, actually hit things that you couldn't actually grab, but it still did damage, that was that. So that's how that happens. Anywho, uh, was that a beer? Uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, no. This is a... Uh, a perfectly legal and acceptable beverage for every content stream out there. Completely family friendly. Don't ask questions. <laughs> yeah, it's monster, sure. <laughs> it's it's probably monster. No, anyway. Oh gosh. Guys, this this weird this has been a weird year. You know? It's been a weird year. Has been a very strange year, I'll tell you. Do you, play, do you plan out your runs before playing, or am I just yellowing? Well, it kind of depends. Um, I'll do... If you watch any of my Ye of Little Faith videos, that's kind of what I do. I'll do a good amount of research, and when I feel comfortable enough with the run that I could at the very least get far in it, then I go YOLO. Then I just go in. Um, <laughs> lemon juice. Yeah, there you go. It's a water can full of lemon juice. <laughs> um... Yeah, so once I have enough research, I just kind of decide, like, all right, well, this is enough for a, uh, this is enough for content, and that's what we do. So, this feels like one of my more brutal runs for sure. I don't know, it really hasn't been that bad. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm just skewed because I did the fucking immolation run, but this has been going really smoothly. I'm kind of confused, in all honesty. I, I don't know, but hey, it's all good. Dark Souls 2 lands only run when? Oh, I'm f I wish I could. I wish I could. The The problem with that... Oh, is that uh, when it comes to, like, the more regular... When it comes to the more regular weapons, it's kind of hard to feel out if people are actually going to be interested in it. Like, the whips, people like the whips, because whips are weird. And apparently people like daggers, because I, I thought daggers were super popular. I love using daggers, but apparently they're not. So that's pretty cool. Um, lances and spears, I feel like, are kind of on the more meta side of things. So I can't... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We've got a few other runs to do before we can get to that one, unfortunately. I do love them, though. Bob, thank you so much for joining the Firebomb Academy. Welcome aboard. Enjoy those emotes. Enjoy the wallpapers. Keep an eye out for more. Oh, boy. You have the perfect background music right now? Perfect. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably stop recording. <laughs> I should probably stop recording. I don't need this much footage for this. This is not part of the movie, the video. <sighs> you watched a stream where I was playing Dark Souls 3 with a torch. Are you making a video out of that? Not currently, no. No. Um, I worry about that one, because if I do that, then people will ask me when I'm going to do torch runs for Dark Souls 2 and 1. Which, uh would not be fun so you know um we'll see we'll see it might be it might be future content if i decide like if i just can't really decide what i want to do but for the time being i'm kind of putting that one on hold great shield only when <laughs> well i mean the doors are pretty cool i do like the doors <laughs> 
Same with the Dark Souls 2, whatever those two great shields that you just smash things together with. I do like those. Maybe that. We'll see. Is the Lance a bad weapon? No, no, not by a long shot. In fact, it has a, um, it has a higher crit rate than most weapons. Like, it's just below the daggers, which is insane. What about Dark Souls 3 spell tools only? Well, we still have to feel, we still have to beat Dark Souls 2 spell tools only, which, uh, will be happening this next year, for sure. Um, actually, I was originally upset because, like, it couldn't really make it work and there was problems, but then I realized, uh, that with my rule set, there was actually a really easy way to beat the game, so, uh, that's actually going to be a much easier run than I expected, so. We're getting there, we're getting there. Bring back Sexy Party Alfred. We will, Dark Souls 2, we got it, don't worry. We got two more games. We have Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 to go. Alfred's still around. Whoa, slow down, guys. <laughs> slow down. I lost track of the, uh... Lost track of the chat. You guys talk too fast. Hold on, slow down. Whoa! Ooh, that's gotta be... I'm sorry about that. That's gotta be nauseating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, look away. Second monitor. Second monitor. How much time do I think I spend on channel stuff in a week between, like, working on runs, managing server stuff, answering questions, etc.? Easily 40 hours, so it is a full-time job, but, um, it kind of depends. Um, if I'm doing a lot of side content, then we're probably looking at, like, 50 hours, but, uh, average, about 40, I would say. RJ, thank you for joining for the last five months. Man, you're almost half a year there. Well done. Thank you so much. Glad you're here. Normal weapons scare and confuse me. Usually. Yeah. My favorite weapon in Dark Souls 3? Oh, I don't know. Oh, actually, I do know. Um, Anri's weapon. The Astora Straight Sword, but with the luck version. If ever I can use a luck scaling weapon, that is what I like the most. Um, because that means, one, less grinding, and two, it's unique. So, um, yeah, I love luck builds, for sure. What am I planning for Yorm? Uh, we have the White Hair Talisman. That does thrusting physical damage whenever you use that spell. The, uh... I'm gonna fix this here. There we go. Uh, that does thrusting physical damage. So that is probably gonna be one of our harder brick walls and might ruin the run, but that's... We'll, we'll, we'll give it a college try. Yeah. Um, have I done a playthrough of Borderlands? No. No, not on the channel. Um, I have beaten Borderlands 1 and 2. 3 was kind of bad, so I did play anymore. Um, and the pre-sequel did not interest me very much either. Uh, I've thought about doing that run. I kind of play-tested it a little bit with Borderlands 2, the run where, like, if you, you have to throw your guns and use those and grenades to, uh, <laughs> to, to do damage. But, uh, it's slow and bad, and it's not very fun. So, probably not. Probably not going to go back to that one. So, uh, let's see. Have I done a repost only run? Um, no, but I have done the. Uh, I have done a lot of dagger. I did actually just recently did a dagger run, so that uh, has a lot of reposting. So you'll see that. That's about as close as you're going to get. Uh, jump attack goes crazy for Dark Souls 2 Grey Shields. True. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Dragon exists. Just wanted to say that you absolutely love the videos. You're by far the favorite YouTuber. Probably have watched all your Dark Souls challenge runs at least three times. Wow, jeez. So uh, keep doing what you do. Well, thank you so much. And thank you so much for donating and for being here. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Do a kick-only run? No. <laughs> Learn to say please. Uh, yeah, no, that sounds like a really bad time. That sounds like a really bad time. Sexy party Harvey when... Do not sexualize Harvey. He is a innocent and loving boy. We do not, <laughs> we do not sexualize the carrot boy. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If you switch your temperament weapon every time, something new would work. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, you could do a weapon switch run. Those are, those are interesting. A little hard, but they're interesting. Would I ever consider doing Terraria explosives only? I have considered it. Um, yes. <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Should play with the doors playing as the background music. Yeah, that'll be fun for copyright. <laughs> okay. Do a stream where chat decides what armor and weapons to use. Well, fun fact. Fun idea here. Oh god, there's so many. 
chats you guys gotta slow down hold on a minute um fun fact for that one and i'm sorry if there's uh, no audio being played in the background you know let's just play some music let's just play some music that'd be nice because i don't i have to step away from the uh from dark souls in order to actually get things moving and when i do that it doesn't have any audio uh let's go where's my stream list let's just do that that's always good it's not here okay that's fine I, I see you, YouTube. I see what you're doing here. I'll play your game. I'll play your game. Let's see. Let's do this. And we're going to... Shuffle. And let's see what we get. And it might be a little loud, so bear with me for one moment. Let me turn that down a smidge. There we go. That's about right. Let me know if you guys can't hear that. I'll, uh, it's a little, it's quiet right now, but, uh, we'll raise it as we need to. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, so, oh, yeah. So, a stream where chat decides what armors and weapons we use. Next year, one of the new series I'd like to try is a, uh, Dark Souls cosplay. Um, where chat will, of course, vote, um, on which NPC I will play as. And then, because the nice thing about Dark Souls is that people have figured out what each NPC actually has equipped, including rings and spells. So what we'll do is basically I can only use what that NPC has, which would be uh, pretty cool. So the first one up I'd like to try is Lotrek, because fuck Lotrek. But, uh, you know, it's up to you guys. We'll see. So that's what that is. How close am I to doing YouTube full time? Yes. Um, Cinder's Challenge Run. Uh, you know, I've never actually played that mod, so I really don't know. <laughs> DS Remastered is currently half off. Screw it, you're getting it. It's a good buy. It's a good buy. Worth it, I suppose. Okay. Uh, what's the upside of the luck weapon? Uh, you don't have to grind as much, I would say. Uh, would I ever think of being able to make YouTube full-time? Do you think it's possible? Yes, I do think it's possible. Others people do it. Why can't I? Um, with all, with all the fire you use was saying fire pins. <laughs> no, it was not me. That was not me. I keep my fire strictly video game related only. What's my favorite hub area? Majula. Majula is definitely the nice one for sure. Is using Seaward breaking the rules of the run? Uh, we will try our best not to use him, but if we end up having to use him in order to continue the run, we will. So, uh, let's see. Have I played Sekiro on the channel? Mm, I think I did a stream of it once, just kind of messing around. But outside of that, no. Outside of that, no. Uh, what's planned for the XCOM 2 runs? Depends. I have to actually play XCOM 2 and figure out what would be fun to do. Um, people have told me there are things called Sparks, which are basically the new shivs. That would be cool. Uh, single person runs are always in style. Uh, we'll kind of just play it by ear from there, though. Did you ever play Hollow Knight? I did. I played on the second channel. It's all right. Will I do a Monster Hunter Rise challenge? Have to still beat Monster Hunter World. I kind of haven't played Iceborne yet, so I kind of need to do that first. Have been considering just doing some streams where I just kind of play Monster Hunter, starting with, like, the first one, and it'll be, like, can you beat Monster Hunter with a bow gun and just go through all the games? Time will tell. We'll see how I feel about that later on. We will see. All right. <laughs> Thank you for saying please. <laughs> let's see here um blah 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 am i running out of challenge am i running out of ideas for challenges considering there's so many people doing them no not at all um i have about <laughs> probably about 50 written down on a page somewhere which if i did one a week would be more than enough for all of next year uh and that's just right now people constantly suggest new ideas um no i'm not worried about that and also, it's like, you can do the same run. Like, Yamfa did an emulation run. I did an emulation run. I guarantee you they're completely different. I highly advise you watch both. So, no, it's we're, we're fine in that regard. Not worried about that. <laughs> when am I going to play XCOM 2? Sometime next year. That's all I can say. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying so hard. <laughs> we're getting there. Oh, let's see here. Am I having a fun New Year? And have I had a good Christmas and enjoying my days of YouTube? Uh, I am enjoying my days of YouTube. 
I did have a good Christmas, and I will be having a good New Year's. Yes, thank you for asking all those questions. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Yeah, people keep suggesting the Firebomb Convergence run, for sure. We will get on that eventually, I promise. Have I played faster than light? I have not. I think we're actually caught up with the chat now. Oh, yeah, we did it. Uh, no, I haven't played that one. I do own it. Not sure what to make of it, honestly, from what I've seen, but we'll get there. What is Sacred Flame? Sacred Flame was a pyromancy uh, with a lot of grabbing. If you flip on back through the stream a little bit, you'll see exactly what it was. Why is my name the Backlogs? Well, if you have seen my Steam library, you'll know that I have about 500 games, if not more, most of which I've not played, uh, because I am an adult with limited free time, and it is uh, a bad habit that I see a game go on sale that I've wanted for years, and it goes on sale for like $3, and I'm like, uh, okay, and then I buy it, and so that's what we're doing. So we're still working through it, but, uh, you know, we're, we're trying. <laughs> Will we ever get there? No. And that's okay. Turn on some different music here. No, I don't want WarioWare. No one likes WarioWare. Give me this one. This one's nice. My dude is still streaming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> still going. Still going strong. Kind of. <sighs> We're getting there. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. Okay. Chat picked up. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. You sure you can have only one at a time? Oh, perfect. Spark Run sounds fun. Let's do it, baby. Gears Tactics would be a good play to game to play through. Never played that one. I've only played Gears 1 through 3. Will I ever try Dark Cloud? I don't know what that is. So probably, eventually, maybe? Question mark? How much influence does Mrs. Lemon have on the channel? So she helps me with uh, some of the financial side. She and I obviously are partners, so therefore, uh, what's mine is hers. So because YouTube is technically, as far as taxes are concerned, a self-employed business that I run, um, since I am, oop, almost, almost dropped my bev, um, since I am essentially considered a freelancer of Google, <laughs> wrap your head around that, um, she helps me out with uh, keeping track of finances and going over sponsors, that kind of thing. We, she, And she's also the person I bounce all my ideas off of. Like, I go like, hey, if I did Stardew Valley with just this, would that be cool? And she's like, no, that's boring. I'm like, all right, good, good talk. Thank you. I won't do that one. So, you know, no, she's, she is my support and she is my, the beam that helps me keep things, this entire silly channel running. So, what's my favorite soul game? Mm, probably Dark Souls 1. Probably Dark Souls 1. Let's see. Uh, have I played The Binding of Isaac? I have. Kind of boring a little bit nowadays, but uh, it's 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 definitely uh, fun for, you know, just kind of playing through. Uh, that music that you were, were wondering about was from uh, It Takes Two. Something about, like, a killer microphone or something like that. Uh, that's what that one was. So... Dark Souls 1 only fall damage run? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Have I called Mrs. Lemon the goddess in real life? No. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> I keep work and pleasure separate. No. Uh, what can I do to graduate from the Firebomb Academy? <laughs> Buy my merch! Just kidding. I don't know. We have yet to uh, fully flesh out the itinerary. So once I have that ready, I will let you know. Until then. Do I play roguelikes or roguelites? I do. I know I do. I don't... I can't think of any off the top of my head. But I know I do. So does that. Am I suffering yet? Nah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Am I going to delete my channel once I finally work through the backlog? No. No. Apparently people watch my videos to help fall asleep. And I would be doing them a disservice if I took that away. Also, I will never be able to beat my backlog because my work is never finished. You wish you had 500 games to play? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. It is very much the fridge problem. You open the fridge, you go, God, there's so much food in here and nothing to eat. It's that, but with games. You just get, you just get choice anxiety. 
Not a good thing to have. Finish one game, buy the next one. Trust me on that. Trust me on that one. Have I tried Dragon Dragon's Dogma? Yes. Good game. Never finished it, but a lot of fun. Hoping to finish it soon. Uh, any Elden Ring vids coming? One. There will be a single Elden Ring vid. Uh, it'll come out sometime in the early 2023, depending on how long it takes me to beat 255 bosses with fire bombs. We will see. What's my favorite Dark Souls 3 weapon? I think I answered that one already. We will move on. It is the Luck Sword, whatever that is, Henri's Sword. I uh, love the channel, I've been watching. La, 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 la. How's it going? It's going well, thank you, Lunk. Let's see. I should try Steel Rising? I should try Steel Rising, you're correct. I can't remember if that is a PC game or a PS5 game. If it's PS5, it's gonna have to wait a while. Can't, uh, can't quite do that. Firebomb and Blast Arrow only run? Uh, Blast Arrow would be cheating, but, uh, yeah, Firebomb's for sure. Mm -hmm. How old am I? Old enough to party. Probably older than you, unfortunately, but that's the way it goes. Yeah, no. Old enough. Let's see. What's my favorite challenge I've ever done? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. At this point, I've kind of done so many that I really don't... <laughs> I can't keep track of them anymore. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, but... <laughs> I like Dark Souls 1 because I'm old and dusty. No, it's just the one I know the, the most. It's my comfort game, is what it is. It's my comfort food. So... Let's see here. Uh, have I done my taxes for 2021? God, I hope so. <laughs> if I haven't, I'm like eight months late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we're good there. Don't worry about that. Um, will it allow the giant flame pot? Not sure. Have to play around with it. Half the time people say, like, is this allowed in your run? And I go, I haven't played that far in Elden Ring. I don't know. So maybe, you know. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Turn on the volume just a smidgen more. Don't want to be blasting you guys over there. Oh boy, have I played any God of Wars? Just the original trilogy. Just the original trilogy. Uh, da, 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 da. Have I played Valkyria Chronicles? Yes, I have beaten that one. Um, I think there's more than one, so I couldn't tell you which one I've actually beaten. But uh, it was fun. It was a good time. I liked it. Art style is beautiful. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs have loyalty. That's why I pick a dog. Also, dogs like to be pet. And don't... No, not this. That's far too crazy. Give me a better music. Come on now. Yeah, dogs like being pet, so I like petting dogs. So, you know, that's what that is. Would I ever do a Pokemon Fire-type move only run? Um, probably not. Probably not. Seems kind of silly, honestly. <laughs> Rather just do a Nuzlocke and call it a day. Let's see. Oh man, there's so many questions. Will Mrs. Lemon show up in any content again? Well, she will be present in the Elden Ring Firebomb run because she is the goddess and we need her voice lines. Um, outside of that though, I'm not sure. I don't know. We will find out. <laughs> BDG and Lemon. God, I wish. What I would do to peer into the mind of that man. Yeah. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Uh, have you ever put all of your games on a spin the wheel to pick your backlog? That would take forever. So, no, I have not. <laughs> have I tried jogging? Yeah. It's uh, not fun on the knees. You're better off swimming. Swimming d does the least amount of damage to your bones and muscles. And works every muscle of your body. Jogging gives you shin splints after a while. So, you know. Let's see. Let's move on. I'm going to skip through a little bit here. Seem like a lot of questions here. Have I played Tunic? No, no. I do want to. It looks cool. What YouTuber would you ever want to do a collab with, gaming or otherwise? That's a hard question. I've only done a few collabs before, and uh, what most people don't realize is that you do a collaboration, and if it's not just a stream highlight video, which is what you normally would see, um, it takes a lot of effort 
Like it took me like six months to put out one video because of how much like side tracking is. It's just oh, it's awful. So uh, not really looking to do any collabs. If I'm being completely honest, it's just more work than it's worth. Much easier to just say like, hey, can you give me a voice line? And then be like, yeah, sure, man, no problem. Like I've done with uh, who'd I do it with? I think press continue. Or ba no, I did it with Baron's Castle. Baron's Castle. He needed a line real quick, and I <laughs> was happy to oblige. So, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, is he on by my dad? Not that I'm aware of. If that's the case, then my dad has been hiding quite a bit and has a lot to answer for. Questions. I have questions. Let's see here. Will I try Baron's Vegetarian Craftsman Run? I will not. No. <laughs> Let the man have it. <laughs> How long have we been streaming? We're coming up on almost six hours. I know. I'm scared too. I'm scared too. Alright, let's scroll through a little bit here. You are correct, it is the Slime Rancher OST. Well done, you. Well done, you. Um, Let's see. You didn't know that she was the female voice actor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's done the voice acting since the beginning. Um, so anytime you hear the Firebomb Goddess in any of the Firebomb runs, that's her. She's actually... She's, <laughs> it's, she's damn good at it. It's kind of terrifying how quickly she can adapt her voice to sound like the rest of the fire keepers and stuff people have actually <laughs> people have actually asked me like wait that's not the fire keeper i'm like i know i'm scared too <laughs> no it's good if you're a dog person then that means your personality is probably similar to a cat incorrect no i have been described as a golden retriever um just happy to be here <laughs> just happy to be here just feed me and i'll be happy um yeah, no, not a cat. Sorry, sorry to dash your uh, your theory there. Uh, if you think Elden Ring would be more fun with more other people, why not play with the Firebomb Goddess? Because we're all adults and we have very little time. Um, I would play with I would play with literally any of my friends, and none of them have time because they either have kids, full time jobs, full time jobs on a different schedule than mine. It's just yeah, it's just impossible to get anyone together. So, just not gonna happen, unfortunately. So, not for a video, anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Is Mrs. Lemon the woman that was in one of your Bloodborne videos? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Dostrum, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. I don't think I missed anybody else, but if I did, I'm sorry. Hope you're doing well. Let's see here. Just want to say you enjoy your content. Well, thank you, Looney. Appreciate it. Do, do, do. Moving right along. Is there a horror game coming up here? Um, not to my knowledge. I mean, the Dead Space remake is supposed to come out in early next year, so that'd be fun. Uh, I would love to do that. And then, um, I do want to try out Callisto Protocol. Um, I've heard that it's, it was kind of a rough start, but I guess they made some changes and now it's better. So, uh, I'll get onto that eventually. I'll get that eventually. Would I rather do 50 runs of the Great Sword or one run of the Broken Sword? Broken Sword every time. Broken sword every time. Because you can buff that, and it's actually really good. Yeah. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. Would you do an Armored Core 6 video? I don't know. You know, I haven't played Armored Core since the PS2 era, so I have no idea uh, what it's going to be like now, what the quality of life improvements are going to be, and if it's my thing. Time will tell. How do I feel about D&D? D&D &D is the shit. So good. Can't wait to play again. Uh, Vangers, have I played it? Nope, don't know that one. <laughs> El Limon, hola, como esta? Uh, will you ever try to speedrun Dark Souls or any other game? I used to speedrun Salt and Sanctuary. Um, I should still be on speedrun.com for a few of those, although those might all be wonky now since they made the update. I used to hold a few world records until <laughs> this one guy from Japan came through and just blew us all out of the water. Amazing. But, um... But no, I won't be doing any more speedruns from here on out, though. Um, speedrunning kills the fun I have with the game. So, uh, yeah, won't be doing that, unfortunately. Arson is the most notable trait of Golden Retrievers. True. Very true. But they get away with it, because they just look so happy, you know? 
Divinity Original Sin. Oh, I've heard so many good things. I mean to play it at some point. But, uh... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Am I an old one or a puppy? Oh, definitely an old Golden Retriever. Just happy to be here. No, uh... <laughs> no energy to do anything else. No energy to do anything else. Let's see. How did Carl end up in prison? We don't talk about how Carl ended up in prison. Although he's currently on leave visiting family, so, you know, he's doing okay. Resident Evil 4 is coming? Oh, I forgot! Yes, that'll be fun. We're on board for that too. Yes, please. Did I do the old Demon King? No, we, uh... <laughs> that's gonna take uh, some endgame build stuff. We'll get to that later. Get that later. Uh, ra -ta -ta -ta. What's a run I wish worked out but just fell through? Diablo 2 throwing potions only. Um, cool idea. Would have been fun. Hate to say it though, it's really fucking boring. It's just really boring to watch, so it just wouldn't have made good content, so I had to stop. But, it is what it is. G.VA, VA, welcome. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Welcome to the Academy. Do I ever do weird grips on a controller to facilitate challenge runs? No. Um, no, I try my best not to do that. What I do sometimes do, if the game will let me, is change the controls, either on the keyboard, or if I'm lucky enough, the gamepad. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I just kind of work with what I got, more or less. More or less. Ever tried COD, like Call of Duty? Uh, back in college, I used to play it, but... Uh, not really my scene. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. <laughs> Pig Lemon, hello. Little Ghost, hi. <laughs> What's my favorite show? You know, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Don't really have time. Um, but uh, I occasionally like to watch Bob's Burgers. That's a good one. I enjoy that. That's uh, probably about the only TV show I actually kind of keep up with a little bit here and there. Everything else just kind of just falls by the wayside. I watch it whenever. Later, Robert. Have a good one. Which Monster Hunter game is my favorite? Um, I have the most time with, like, Monster Hunter 3. Try, excuse me. But uh, I think my favorite so far has been World, just because the quality of life improvements are impossible to replace it's just, it's just too good so any games I want to try challenges on or just play on the channel oh plenty plenty don't you worry like I said I have a list <laughs> of videos <laughs> for all of next year that I can pull from but uh, we'll see would I watch the Dark Souls movie no no <laughs> no I've seen what Hollywood does to movie to video games I will not I will not do that uh uh. Demon Princes are going to be a nightmare? One of several. Yep. What are my thoughts on the Portal games? Portal 1 was fun. Portal 2 was a blast. Especially with friends. So, yeah. Sounds like a tasty energy drink. It is. It is vanilla flavored. It's a good time. Very good. Is the emulation run as painful as I think it would be? How dare you ask me that? Yeah, no, it's it's awful. It's fucking. It's it's literally the worst run I've ever done. Uh, <laughs> it's um. You'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Yeah, I know. Anyway, um. Yeah, how come I do flame related runs so much? You know, uh, it started out as just kind of like a haha -ha funny meme, and uh, now I just kind of find myself enjoying them. I really like status effect damage, like damage over time, which is usually the way fire goes. Um. We're listening to a lot of Sonic today, huh? Uh, but yeah, no, that's, um... I don't know. <laughs> I guess the real question is, why not? Do I also play games like whatever that is? Uh, no, I don't play Disgaea. I assume that's how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. Favorite FromSoft game? Uh, Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> Great Pyrenees. Oh, man. <laughs> Feels like a feels like a cloud sheds like a cat. Yeah. Have you ever played the original Final Fantasy VII? No, I have not played any Final Fantasy VII to its completion. Um, 
Probably should. It's, makes up, it's one of those games where it's like, oh, I need to play it because it's so important to video game history. But uh, who has the time? Am I continuing this run today? No, no, this is the end. This is the end. We're just going to talk for a little bit and then we're good to go. So, from here on out, it will be made into a video. Uh, you'll just have to see what happens. Um, yeah. Tea mixed with fruit punch. Who the fuck? Who does that? You're a monster. Go get help. Can't wait to see Lemon going hollow. Oh, you will. Did you miss the stream? You did, kind of, sort of. We're still here, but uh, yeah, a little bit. Anyway, came across the Vigil game via one of my videos. Hey, glad you like it. It's a, it's a good one. It's, it's a little imbalanced, but if you're looking for a power trip, it's a good game. So, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, poison only Dark Souls run when? Cannot do. Bosses are immune to poison, most of them. So, and before you say, well, uh, what's his face? Who, who was that that did the toxic only run? Or poop only run? Some speedrunner. I can't remember his name. Aggie. Little Aggie. That's the one. Uh, yeah, he had to use glitches. We don't really use glitches in our runs if we can help it. Um, so, yeah, no, we're not gonna... Not gonna do that one, sorry. Have I done Flame Secure yet? No, because it's impossible without uh, having unlimited ammo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sure uh, Tarant saw himself out, so I don't have to poke fun at that one there. The most fun challenge run I've ever done? Oh gosh, let's see. I don't, I don't know. It's been so long. There's been so many. I can't tell you. The firebomb ones are definitely one of my favorite, though. So you know, go with that. Uh, let's see here. Going from Belgium to the UK. I'm all right then. Hope your travel are safe. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII firebombs only run. I don't think they have firebombs. Did I get anything cool for Christmas? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Final Fantasy VII consumables only. Oh, man. Yeah, no. I don't know. See, the problem with Final Fantasy is I don't know enough about it. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd ever do that. It'd be, it'd be a lot of research. A lot of research. If I played any Xenoblade game, not to completion. I played at the beginning of one of them, and then uh, I had to give it away. So... You know, wasn't able to continue that one there, but it is what it is. Uh, any chances of future Bloodborne challenge runs? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm sure we'll think of something. Eventually. <laughs> Frenzy spells only, only? Nope, won't be doing that one. Later, Dark Knight. Have a good one. Has the game story ever made you cry? Yes. Yes, it has. What ending would fit the Elden Ring pot only run more? I don't know either of those endings, so I could not tell you. You'll just have to wait and see. You deeply enjoyed Grime after watching your challenge? Make sure you go back to it. The new DLC dropped? Really good stuff. Big fan of the bow daggers. Myself. But, uh, yeah. How'd the challenge go? Pretty good. Pretty good. You'll have to watch the VOD to see how good, but uh, better than expected. <laughs> Lords, of the, Lords of the Fallen Run. Not on your life. No, thank you. Is there any game you want to really do a challenge run but can't think of a challenge for? Mm. That's a better question. Um. Hmm. Probably. <laughs> I'll just say probably. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there is. Like Skyrim? I would love to do a Skyrim one. Like, you know, just... It's been, it's been about five years. I have the urge to play it again. But I don't know what kind of run to do that hasn't been overdone to death at this point. So, eh... There it sits. There it sits. Dark Souls throwing knives only? No, don't want to do that one. No, thank you. That sounds awful. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Is Bloodborne good or bad, in my opinion? It's good. It's very good. The story is fantastic. The gameplay is incredible. The Chalice Dungeons should not exist, but everything else is great. I would say. Is the run over? Yeah, sorry, Cody. We're just kind of we're just kind of wrapping up over here, doing our thing. The first live and you got here at the end happens more often than you'd think. Happens more often than you'd think, but you know, it's okay. There'll be more. There'll be more next month. Bloodborne pistol only run. No, I don't really want to do that. 
<laughs> that sounds awful. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Somebody briefly said that they might be able to figure out how to glitch in certain weapons in the very beginning of runs, which would be appreciated, because there's a lot of cool weapons that, like, don't get a lot of, you know, airtime, which would be really cool to do, but someone has to figure out how to do that for me, because it's a uh, PlayStation, so I don't really know how to do any sorts of uh, glitching or anything on it, so someone's got to figure it out. Anyway. Mm-mm-mm. Let's see. Yeah, for those of you heading out, thank you so much for stopping by. Glad you made it. See you next year. Have you ever played Rayman? Oh, yeah. I played through Rayman 2 back on the N64. Can't say I've played the other ones since then, though. Can't say I've played the other ones. What's my favorite ending in any Souls game? Um, I really like the... the all... I like all of the ones that, like, continue the fire. They're just cool. And then, you know, eventually... They become less like, wow, cool, and more like, oh no, stop, don't do that. And it's just, that continuation is neat to me. So I like that a lot. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, Dark Souls, but you can only have fun. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's all the time. I don't know what you're doing. I would say, most, most of my challenge runs, I don't do them unless I know I'm going to have a good time. So, like, you know, most of them. I say most the spot we're sitting at into a wallpaper. Now you guys are there. Just uh, full screen and go ahead and uh, screenshot. You got this. You got this. I trust you. You can do it. <laughs> Skyrim Stealth Archer Run. No one's ever done that before. Have they not? Oh, they're missing out. <laughs> have I ever played any of the Dragon Age games? No, actually. I think I own all three and I haven't played them. <laughs> no. How does one get the aforementioned wallpapers for being a member? If you go to the channel... Yeah. Uh, go to the channel and look at the comments or community posts for the channel. There's probably a way to slim it down to just members only community posts. It'll be there. There's a link to a drive. Um, there's a link to a Google Drive and that Google Drive has all the wallpapers in it. So that's that's where you want to go. Do you have a stream schedule or is it just sort of like whenever you feel like it? Uh, Yeah, I don't have a schedule <laughs> sorry it, i try to keep it to weekends usually friday or saturday sometimes sunday but usually just one of the weekend days um and it's generally whenever i don't have enough time to finish a video because then it's like well i made content this week so youtube can't get mad at me but now i have an extra week so uh that's that's my schedule and that's as good as i can get it so whoops um <laughs> You know, in 2023, I'm going to crack 500,000 for sure. Don't jinx us. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. That would be nice. That would be nice. I, I won't complain. <laughs> yeah. Harry, welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your wallpapers. Glad to have you. Let's see here. Oh, uh, thanks, Rex. Appreciate it, man. Mm -mm -mm. What's my favorite song? Like, in general? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Changes literally week to week. Changes week to week. Yeah. Sad, I'm fun to watch. Yeah, I know, sorry. Um, your best bet, if you want to watch live streams, uh, I would subscribe to the second channel, because that's where uh, I spontaneously stream because I'm like I want to play a game without doing a challenge run but I need motivation so I need chat to yell at me so that's when I usually do that um that's where all the VODs are and then there's of course a boatload of VODs on this channel as well but they're all challenge runs I believe so uh yeah until other than that though uh <laughs> turn on those notifications baby that's the only way you'll know so uh man uh do you think you'll make beanies for merch in the future uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. No. Oh, man. Wow, we caught up. Good job, me. <laughs> Good job, me. I get. I earned a cookie. Hmm. Good cookie.
Oh, Lord. What other games do I play? Um, hmm. Well, it depends. Usually it's whatever you see me playing on a challenge run. But lately, I've been playing a lot of Grime. And that's been fun. Just trying to beat the DLCs. Uh, and then uh, I've recently started playing Baldur's Gate. Like the old ones. Not sure if I'll continue that. It's a little hard considering I'm not very familiar with uh, AD&D. Like Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, not really not really sure how to read the Thacko system and all that crap. But uh, but yeah, no. it's I've been kind of playing around a little bit. Kind of playing around a little bit. Jonathan found the wallpapers. Yes. Well done. Glad you found it. Mm -mm -mm. This is the only time you've ever actually caught on the streams. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. We uh, we tend to stream at weird hours due to uh, work hours and such. But uh, yep. Sorry about that. Oh, hey. That's Guile. Good for him. Let's see. Did I consider doing some Elden Ring runs? Just one. Just one. Uh, so yeah, that'll probably happen in early 2023, hopefully. Uh, and same goes for XCOM 2. I have been meaning to get to it. I kind of am about to force myself to play it sometime in January. So uh, we'll get to there eventually, hopefully. I have not tried Hades. No. No. Heard good things, but I've never tried it before. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Thacko smaller is better. Negative numbers best. I kind of figured that's what was going on. I was like... <laughs> I was like, well, hold on. I know studded leather is better than regular leather, but it's telling me negative. Like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, no. So, I, I, I'm getting there, but it's also just like a clunky system. It's kind of hard, so we'll see. We'll get there eventually. Uh, what do I do for work? I work from home. Now. But, yeah. How do I feel about using emulators for old games, or do you prefer to find a way to play and record on official consoles or whatever else? So some games, consoles, it's like, I would have to mutilate the console in order to somehow get recording on it. Um, so with that being the case, um, I think like I think in one of my videos I actually did show a little live footage of like my office shelf where I've got all my consoles on it. The way I see it is like, look, I already own these consoles. It's from the '90s. I somehow doubt that anyone cares that I didn't buy their '90s cartridge <laughs> for the Sega Genesis <laughs> at this point in time. So what I'll do is I'll emulate it. Generally speaking, um, I mean totally legal. Totally, to I will totally just do the right thing. Uh, but then I also. We'll go out of my way to find a USB controller of the original controller. So that way I still have the original experience. So. Yeah, that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's see here. Have I considered mods? What, for like games? Eh, I don't really like the mods. I don't like using mods all that much. If I can help it. I kind of like to uh, play games vanilla anyway. Bye, Sam. See you later. What's my opinion on Eric the Bug? No idea what that is. How am I doing? Doing good. Doing good. Ah, <sighs> alrighty. Well, everybody, uh, it's getting kind of that hour. We've been going for oh, six hours. <laughs> longest stream, longest stream so far on the channel, I do believe. But uh, you know what? It has been a great year. It's been a great year. We started... I'm afraid to guess. I think we started around like 40,000... 40,000 subscribers? And now we're at 200-something? Um, yeah. It has been an absolutely wild year. I uh, could not have done it without any of you. Thank you so much. <sighs> it's, uh, yeah. I, I'll say it now. I think I say it every once in a while, but I'll say it now anyway. Um... It has been an absolute dream being able to make YouTube content for you all. I have always wanted to write. I've always wanted to find a way to kind of make playing video games feel constructive, if that, and like productive. And YouTube has been a way for me to do that. Um, with all of you, of course you know, with the multiple comments always being encouraging, this community being so welcoming for everybody, all the new people that come in. It's been absolutely great. Um, 
and I, I can't thank you all enough for all the support you give me, all the kind words, all the stories that come through with people telling me how I've helped them fall asleep or just help them get well through like an illness or just like when they're having like a real bad week, they just kind of turn on my stuff to kind of, you know, turn things up a little bit. That's, that, that makes it all worth it. So, you know, thank you so much for that. Just wanted, just wanted to make sure I said that before we end the stream, before I, before I forget. So, yeah. Um, but outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is about it for the rest of this year. I will see you all soon, hopefully, next year. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it was a great, 2022 was pretty dang great for the channel. I'm looking forward to see what 2023 has going for us as well. Hopefully nothing but good things. Time will tell. Uh, but as always, it always seems impossible until it's done. So, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do, huh? But in any case, take care. Be responsible. Have a good, happy new year. I'll see you all next year. Bye-bye.